Hi guys, in today's video, I'm back showing you guys more secret spots. It's definitely like the last video, and I'm about to show you a lot more secret spots that you probably didn't know that existed in block shoots. And once again, I definitely guarantee you that you don't know one of these. And the first one is, if you like and subscribe in three seconds, you can literally get a leopard fruit, okay? So like and subscribe right now, okay? Like and subscribe right now, come on, one, two, three. Oh my god, come on. What is that? What is that? I don't think you were fast enough liking and subscribing, did you? Wait, for secret spot number two, we're already here, okay? As you guys know, this is called the mansion. But a mansion doesn't have a lot of secrets. You might maybe think it's these doors that can open up, but uh, sadly, no, they can't open up. But if you guys walk to the trading area, which are these six chairs, you guys might have never actually realized that there is a secret beneath them. If you guys are sitting in one of these chairs, you're definitely not gonna see it. But if you guys go ahead and look down on the table, you guys will see there's a text written on the table, which is Chad is the king of block shrewds. I don't know who Chad is. Maybe you guys know, okay? Let me know if you guys do know who Chad is, because I am definitely one. For the third spot, we're facing the floating turtle center. And in this spot, you basically have to go to the beautiful pirate domain. If the boss is not here, you cannot do this glitch. And also, this is a kitsune glitch. And if you guys want a kitsune, go ahead and like and subscribe right now. And I might choose someone for a kitsune. Now, once you get your kitsune activated, first you have to get three towels and transform. So let's go do that right now. All right, then there you go. As you can see, we have three towels. Now, all we have to do is transform into a transformation and go inside of the pirate domain. But we can't really do anything here since the boss isn't here. So let's go and spawn him in. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, he's already attacking me, bro. Chill down, buddy. I didn't even touch you. Why are you already attacking me, buddy? Isn't he so rude? Well, take some of this, okay? Come this way, right? You basically have to lure him to this door over here. And now all you have to do is press X, okay? Come on, come on. Do this. And now all you have to do, press X. <sighs> come on. Oh, it did. Oh. Uh, all right, that did not go according to plan. Basically, to learn like a little bit this side. So he's right here and then use an axe. Come on. Ooh, it didn't work. Come on, I gotta try it again. All right, come on, just like that. And oh my. Oh. Oh, uh, just like that, you can glitch out of the map. Now we're in Hydra Island. Um, now if you guys remember the last video, I did get here from the Hydra Island. You can basically get to Hydra Island without even going or teleporting to it. Just like this. Wait, this is pretty... Wait, where can I go out? Hold on. What is this? Oh, can I flash step out maybe? Oh my god. Wait, what is going on? Wait, we can. Okay, come on. Come on. Flash. Oh, wait. Yo, it worked. And now we're at Hydra Island. Oh my god. And luckily, the next secret is right here. Follow me. Now you guys are probably all familiar with this area, which is the arena. Now, did you guys know this arena has a secret spot? Yes, let me show you. First of all, you would think uh, you can get in here or something. I mean, I guess maybe you can glitch or something. We're actually not even. This thing is empty. Yeah, this is a fake building. Hmm, interesting. But did you guys know that these tribunes, you can actually get inside of? If you guys go over to this corner right here and just jump down, you will see a little bit of space. Oh my god, look at this. This is like a whole space and and you can pretty much run in the arena. You guys know how you can do the 1v1? You can pretty much run away in the tribunes. Which I'm not really sure if you would run away from a 1v1. I mean, you're probably not gonna get far. But this is pretty cool. And once you follow this path, you can get out on the other side, which is right here. Let me know if you knew this one. I guess for the next secret, we are back in Skylands, in the first sea. And did you guys know that there is a cat hiding somewhere here? Yes, a cat. If you guys are at lower Skylands right now, you guys wanna go onto this direction right here and go to these rocks over here. Just right over here, if you guys look behind behind it, there will be a cat hiding over here. Hello, cat. Uh, it's the mad scientist. And this guy will give you another fighting style. If you know which one he gives, comment down below. Now, if you still haven't liked the video, Ziolos will not give you a good fruit, right? So let's see. Let's see. Come on. Let's see. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you... Ooh, magma. So I guess some of you guys liked it and some didn't because magma is kind of mid. So I will take it though. I guess for the next secret spot, did you guys know that you can actually glitch in this like area? You guys know that this is like a boss area where you have to fight to get to the second C. But we literally can't go through here. And we also can't destroy it, right? So um, the only ways to get through here is get the mission and defeat the boss. But you can also flash step inside of here just like that and you can literally fight the boss hey what's up ice admiral i don't think i'm supposed to be here but i guess i can fight you i don't think he's any strong okay so wait can i even hit him oh i can't even hit him wait what uh wait hello i can't even hit him oh my god we can't even attack the boss this is weird wait i've never seen this before come on boss take some damage come on oh he's, he's defeating me come on oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm literally weaker than the boss like a c1 boss i'm getting say hey, i'm getting collapsed i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna get out of here oh i need to get out i need to get out i do not want to fight this guy let me get out of here please but guys, since we are already here, there's another secret spot here that you must know about. If you guys are exploring around the island and Snow Village, you guys might notice that there's a drop down here and there is this secret door. This door is used to getting Dark Blade V2. And if you guys know what in this door is, well, you can't really see. I mean, I guess you can see an envelope, right? Yeah, you guys know what that means. We got a flash tab in and uh, yeah, we're pretty much in. And originally, this door is only breakable through a Dark Blade. So you don't even need a Dark Blade to get here. Now you can interact with the mission. But obviously, the mission won't work if you don't have a Dark Blade. 
Beyblade. So you're wasting your time if you don't have one. Now, did you guys also know that in the Magma Village, there's a secret that can give you an item? Yes, follow me, guys. So once you guys are in the Magma Village right here, all you have to do is just walk this way. I guess there's no way here. And once you go off the path, there will be a hidden door, okay? You won't even be able to see. I'm pretty sure it's a oh, oh, just right here. And here you can find the living skeleton. What's up, buddy? Are you crackling down or something? What do you have for me? Which sword would you like to purchase? I mean, you only have one sword. What do you mean, which sword? I only have the soul cane, which I already have. If you guys don't know who this is, this is literally Brook from One Piece. Did you even know that? Anyway, guys, for the next spot, we're visiting Marine Fortress. Where obviously our good friend Fice Admiral is here. And now, uh, oh, you, oh, you're angry, bro. Chill, man. I've done nothing wrong to you, okay? I don't know why you're attacking me. But you guys will notice a lot of these towers. If you guys take a look exactly at this tower right here and go ahead and climb it, you guys will see that there's literally an entrance here, okay? Yeah, look at this. There's a secret tunnel in here. And once you fall down, uh, we got Parlus over here. Parlus right here will sell you an item. Let's see. Speak. Um, okay. Little dude, I just bought this black cape for 100,000 Robux from some kid. Said it boosts my attacks and stuff. Wanna buy it for 50,000 Robux? I guess he's scamming himself. Or he got scammed and he's trying to get a little bit back, but, um, dude, fast. I gotta go. Church? This is where you get one of your first accessories, the black cape. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The black cape, it's kind of drippy, man. It's kind of drippy. And it was pretty cheap as well. 50,000 belly? That's a steal. Guys, for the next secret spot, we're in underwater city. Where if you guys don't know, there's a secret spot in this area. There was somewhere here. All right, so if you guys go to the right side of the boss spawn and you guys keep going uh, straight, you guys will see this like weird thing. Like it's an entrance and you guys can actually go through here and find the water kung fu teacher where you can learn water kung fu fighting style. Yeah, this is pretty hidden. So let me know if you guys have found it. Guys, for the next hidden spot, if you guys are going to the prison, you guys might think there's nothing here. Other than the three bosses around here, which Swan is in here, obviously. He's always not here. Now, if you guys go to the very back of the prison and go ahead and climb this wall right here, you guys will not find anything here. But if you turn around and you follow the path, there will be a secret bacon man. It looks like he's about to hack me, but he will remove your blocks roots. Um, let me try that, actually. Hold on. I, I let, me, let me try that. Hey, kid. Want to remove your block shoot powers? I removed for only 50,000. No, scam. I promise. Uh, we can say shut up or sure. Uh, okay. Wait, let's just say shut up first. Hold on. Hold on. Watch your back from of now on. Hey, hey, he's threatening me. Hey, hey, you, you, trying to, you trying to threaten me? You trying to fight or something? I don't know about this guy. All right, let's just press sure. Let's see what happens. Let's see. And oh, block shoot removed. And now I have this. Wait, I have no block shoots. What the heck? Um, I guess I literally have no block shoot right now. Wait, this is weird. Wait, wait. So I, that means I can swim. Oh my God, I can swim. Let's go. It's been a while since I swam because I always have a block shoot. I guess this is also a trick to be able to swim without shark rays. But now, obviously, I can just equip it back on. Imagine I lost my perm for doing this. <laughs> I guess for the next secret spot, you guys want to go to the Colosseum. And once you guys go to this side of the Colosseum, you will see a hidden room right over here. Also known as the Bertillo Quest. Now, since I already did this, I can walk in this room where everyone is locked up. Now, if you haven't done this yet, if you walk inside of this room, you will find the Red Hat over here. Or should I say King Red Hat? Which is my game 43. It says, yo! This is a mental image of myself. I'm currently sealed in the third C. This is also how you go to the third C. Now, did you guys also know that on every single trading table, there is a text hidden? And on this one, it says also, Chad is the king of block shoots. I thought maybe I'll find a different text, but it's the same. I guess for the next hidden spot, follow me. Once you guys are in the factory, go behind the factory. And you can actually walk on the back of the factory. And once you keep walking and walking and walking, you will find a Mr. Cyborg over here, also known as Frankie. And Frankie says, let's see, you already took my ship. And this is pretty much how you get the flower ship. Well, there's a fruit, there's a fruit, there's a fruit. And it's a spin fruit, really. It's a spin fruit. Come on, block shoots. For the next hidden spot, you guys go to Hot and Cold Island and go to the Smoke Admiral. And do not go inside. Just climb up on the building. And now go all the way back. And there is a secret entrance that you can actually enter over here. And here you find this guy who will sell you chips for the law raid. So you can finally get your Coco Sword. Now the next hidden spot is in this secret cave over here. This cave is located at this huge rock in the whole island. Now once we go in, you find a place where you can actually stall a law raid. Which I just showed you guys how to get the chip sword. And if you guys look close, See, there's a hidden path over here. And if you guys have not unlocked these cyber grays, you will not be able to see this. So this is another hidden spot. And this capsule right here lets you change into cyber grays. For the next hidden spot, we have arrived at Diamond. And hey, hey, Diamond, don't attack me, buddy. Don't attack hey, hey, shoo, shoo, shoo. I'm not here to fight you. But guys, follow me. You basically go to this side of the thing. Because here, you can find a hidden door where you can literally walk through. Now, most of you guys know this. But the real secret lies behind here. Now, here you can find a rope. But what if you walk behind him and you scroll out with shift lock? You can find this area over here. I'm not really sure what this is. It's a pretty cool area. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a big space. And if you want to, you can like get a lot of people in here and just start battling. That'll be pretty fun, actually. But how do I even get out here? Actually, hold on. How, how do I how do I get out? Hold on. I don't even get out. I don't know where am I? Come on, just, oh, oh, this is not 
What the? Yo. I guess I found another hidden spot. Like, where am I? I guess this is another hidden spot. Please let me get out. Please let me get out. Oh, wait. I already know where I am. I flashed up over here. I'm in the dogs area. Too easy. Now, the next hidden spot. If you guys climb the castle of the kingdom of the rose, you can go exploring, but you probably find this diamond chest. It will give you a little bit of money. Then you find the Brazil cube and the Thailand cube. And you might think, what are these things doing here? Are these like a secret like thing? You can click on or something? But no. These are here to show appreciation for the players of Brazil and Thailand. Pretty cool. And if you know any more secrets, comment down below. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys secret spots in block shoots that you probably didn't know. And I can guarantee you, I'm gonna show you spots that you definitely didn't know. For the first spot, we're starting in for C. For this spot, you basically gotta go to Pirate Village and go in this like a little hallway over here. And once you go ahead and look good, you'll see a little door over here. I mean, at least an outline of a door, right? And you can actually go ahead and walk through it. And as you can see, we got a Dark Step Teacher. Where this Dark Step Teacher will learn you at fighting style, which is the Dark Step, but I do not want it, okay? I do not want it. And this is the first fighting style you can get. On to spot number two. Right, spot number two. Did you guys know that you can actually go ahead and find a secret passage in the desert? Okay, you probably know this. But did you know if you like and subscribe right now, you can actually roll a kitsune. Let's see. Let's see. Did you like and subscribe? Did you like and subscribe? Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh, a smoke fruit. Oh, uh, yeah. You did not like and subscribe. Like and subscribe right now. But boys, as you can see, for the second step, we have this chest right here. And as you can see, there's already like, you can already see that we can go like below it, right? So there's like this secret passage over here. Can I, oh, uh, come on, please. Fit, fit, fit. Okay, there you go. And once you go ahead and walk to this tunnel, okay, let's see. Walk to this end of the tunnel. There is Hassan. There's probably one thing that you didn't know. Once I tried talking to this guy, um, let's see, talk. He even says to me, you're not ready yet, homie. Which, as you guys know, um, well, I do have max level. Pretty much every single item unlockable in the game. And I still can talk to a C1 NPC. Well, that's strange, you know? But did you guys know that you actually have to have stats on sword before you can talk to this guy? You have to have 300 points on sword. Otherwise, this guy will not sell you anything. And once you get that, he sells you a swordsman hat that gives 10% extra sword damage. Let me know if you knew that. Boys, for spot number three, did you guys know that if you walk inside of this um kind of like weird looking build, I don't know what this is even. Why is there like a tall building with like windows? Like, uh, it's pretty random with no space inside. And there's a blue chest here, which is the best chest. Let's see. It gives 2.5k. Not bad. But this building is not designed to be useless because if you look up, um, yeah, there you go. But then that's the code. If you guys redeem that code, you probably got a leopard or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Just go and redeem it, all right? <laughs> all right, spot number four. Did you guys know that if you guys go to Sky Upper and you, you see the big big bell you can actually ring it okay no i'm i'm joking you can actually ring it that'd be so good though like in one piece the bell rings imagine if that was in block shoot that would be pretty sick okay so you guys see this temple right here the ruins you guys can see like a spot right here and it's blocked off though so you actually have to do like uh you know uh, a little oh uh, i didn't even oh. I didn't even destroy the door. Oh my. Uh, I didn't even know that. Oh, that's good as well. Uh, but you guys will come in this room, which is filled with chests. And uh, yeah, you can get rich here, okay? For C1, this is golly, okay? Look at this. 1k, 1k, 1k. You can get super rich. Let me know if you knew this. All right, we have to go to the second C. Before I do that, let's say hello to my boy, okay? Uh, hello, is that you? Oh, hey, Robo Mega. What's up, G? For spot number five, we got this room. And this is called um, the admin room. I'm not really sure. Once again, there's like a football card right there. With when log toad. Some auto over here. Robot Mega Production. And we got a letter over here. Merry Xmas, when locked out. I hope you had a jolly Christmas and a happy new year. Mm, not Christmas, though. My game 43 looking kind of good. Oh my. I guess spot number six. If you guys go over to the second C, yeah, you guys will see the Colosseum right there. Well, you don't go right there, okay? You go to this wall right here and, uh, yeah, you can see like an imprint from a door, right? Yeah, a big door. Oh, well, you just go ahead and, uh, do that and, um, um, I guess with Portal 3 can go through every single wall. Guys, okay, so look at this room, okay? We got one, two, and I just collected the third chest but we got three chests over here which give um each like three thousand that's not bad right it's not even terrible wait wait can i get out can i get out come on oh, I'm, I'm stuck what? now did you guys know that if you guys go downstairs in the cafe right here the title specialist and color specialist are you can actually play chess can i wait hold on hold on can i even play chess wait can i oh uh, oh uh, can i hello i can drag a move a piece come, come on please can i play can i play come on please i can't play never mind i don't think i can play uh but guys if you guys go to this classified room yeah well probably most of you guys know this okay if you like scroll in flash step and uh boom i'm not really sure what this room is okay there, we have a bunch of frogs uh, one bed like a singular bed is there something beneath it yeah i don't know this is pretty cool king toad's house oh it's again when locked out from the other house uh, for spot number seven did you guys know that there's a hidden door right here only used to um unlock dark blade v3 the only way 
to open this door. So put in a fist of darkness right here and spawn a dark beard. And this door will open. And then you can upgrade your dark blade to uh dark blade v3, and then it will look like this, alright? I like the older version better, but uh it's alright. But boys, for spot number eight, do you guys know if you guys go to this rock right over here? Yeah, this rock right above like cave where the vampire spawn, you're gonna actually find Rip Indra. Like, oh bro, Rip Indra, hello? How you been? Oh my god, look at this. It's actually Rip Indra. What will you say? Hi, X. I even never talked to this guy. Um, what do you wish to do with your dark blade skin? Enable, disable. Wait, I've never done this. Wait, enable? Um, okay, now it's enabled, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. I can disable it. Hold on a minute. All right, it's done. Let's see. Is it? Oh, now it's back to green. Wait, I didn't notice. Hold on a minute. Hey, yo, this is cool. So you can still switch skins after upgrading dark blade. Interesting. Did you notice? Because I even didn't. For spot number nine, I guess we'll have to go underground, okay? I'm underground right now. And once I go to the, like, one of these platforms over here, you guys want to go ahead and shift lock right now. And once you shift lock and look inside of this wall, and, like, zoom in a little bit so you can shift lock inside the wall like that. Come on. Oh, it didn't work. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Maybe this wall over here. Right, just like that. And we flash tap and... Oh. We're inside, like, the underground. That's not everything, because we can visit a place where we usually can't be, all right? I'm kind of looking for it right now, and I think I see it, okay? I think I see it. I don't know what this is exactly, but uh, I can't swim. Hold on, I can't swim, I can't swim. Luckily, I do have portals, so come on, come on, come on. All we have to do is go right over here to this point, and yes, sir, I glaze the prop head. Okay, I don't know what that means. Now, all we have to do is zoom in and somehow fly... Oh. Oh my, okay, almost, almost, almost. How do I do this again? I think I forgot. And I don't think I can use my portal. I guess I can, I can. Yo, yo, shush, shush. I'm falling in the water. Shush, shush, shush. I'm on this other platform right now. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Come on, we zoom in. Okay, come on. We flash tap right here. Okay. Oh, we can't flash tap in this. Wait, what? I literally can't see it. Look at that. Look at that mysterious entity. That's the real awakening room. Come on, can I get in? Can I get in? Please get me in. Come on, just like that. Three, two, one. And. <sighs> Let's go. You can actually go to the awakening room without having an awakening. But wait, can you awaken my portal fruit? Come on, please. Please awaken my portal fruit. Please. Please. Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, for spot number 10, you can literally roll any fruit you want. And it's actually really cool, okay? Because look at this. Look at this. Once you go in the chat, you gotta type in slash E, sir. Lock just like that. And you gotta type that in. This works every single time, okay? Literally, I'm not even joking. Oh, what? Wait, what? This definitely not going to work? Wait, no. I'm gonna prove you. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Guys, you guys also gotta be subscribed, okay? Come on. Right, all right, please come on. Oh my god, oh, I told you guys, I told oh my god, yo, oh. and oh, you got it as well. No, wait, yo, he was even doubting, he was saying it's never gonna work. Oh my god, he got a map. Wait, what? And he says, Sarah Log, exactly, guys, subscribe. He looks for spot number 11. Did you know that once you're on a snow island where pretty much there's there's nothing here, all right, you guys know, but if you go down right here, like from the side where the houses are, um, you can actually find a hidden passage. Look at this. Oh, dang. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, there's nothing here, but there's another secret passage right here. Okay. Once you go ahead and walk this cave down, here you can find the martial arts master, where you can finally learn superhuman, which is needed, all right? All right, for spot number 12, you guys know that you can actually go up this haunted ship. The easiest way to do this is with light food, okay? So just grab your light food, go all the way over here, go inside of the mast, and inside of the mast, you will find three blue diamond chests, and each of them is gonna give you 10,000 right here, 10,000 right here, and 10,000 right here. So 30,000 just like that. It's a money for me. Now for spot number 13, you can go behind the mansion, behind the windmill, and there will be this like little hat on the ground, as you can see with the star. And once you touch it, you have to touch it three times right here. One, two, three. And once you do that, you actually get a lot extra luck while spinning fruits. I don't know if this is completely true, but let me know if you guys experience extra luck. For the next spot, you have to go to Hydra Village and go down right here to the waterfall. Okay, as you guys know, the hidden waterfall waterfall spot, which this is not the spot, right? Once you guys know, you can actually go on this wall right here. You can jump, 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 and you will be in this, like, secret passage. Now you gotta walk over here to the secret passage, and you will be inside of the Hydra Town, which is super strange, okay? And if you go to the middle, you can see this, like, strange thing over here. Now all you have to do is go ahead and go over here. And once you find a spot, you can actually go and get a chin. Come on. Flash step. Oh, no, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me. Help. Okay, zoom out just like that, and I'll wait for your flash step. Three, two, one. Come on. And boom, we're in the pirate domain. And now you can find the beautiful pirate just like that. Did you guys know that there's a hidden spot right here? If you guys look closely, there's literally a door over here, okay? There's like a print of a door right here. This is used for a quest in the game. What you guys probably don't know, you have to use the musketeer hat in able to slice this door open, okay? And now, slice it open. 
and it's open, okay? And here you're gonna find a letter or something like that. And then you're in the secret entrance. You could do the quest. Did you know this? Now, did you guys know? If you go to the doghouse right here and it says Wenlock, this is in every single sea. But if you like look at it, we wanna buy a physical rocket fruit. And this used to be kilo fruit, okay? So we, we basically can buy a physical rocket fruit for 97 Robux that we can actually drop. But I don't know what the reason is for that. I mean, uh, I'm not trying to get scammed, buddy. I'm not trying, hey, I'm not trying to get scammed, okay? If I go roll fruit right now, I probably get a kilo fruit, okay? For a rocket, I mean. For spot number 14, did you know there's a hidden room in the port town? You wanna go ahead and go to the beach side right here, okay? You wanna go to right over here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, okay? Let's see. Can you see, like, the line over here? Like, this line. It's like a door print, okay? It's, like, again, a door print. Look at this. Again, the door print we saw earlier, okay? And in the door print, that's a mission. But in this door print, you can kind of glitch in or something. Let's see. Like, look at this. Look at this. Oh, just like that. Boom. Okay, and it's like, it's like a, you can see there's like this voidy thing over here, which means it's probably gonna be a door. Well, it is already a door, but it's blocked off right now. And uh, here we got like a mini room, which nothing yet is here. Maybe they will add a NPC right here for a new fighting style. What do you guys think? What will be added here? Hey guys, for number 15, you guys wanna go to TK Outpost and you wanna go through this hole right here. Okay? And once you drop down over here and walk this direction. Oh, wait, what is that? Um, It's a number 50. What, what the? Yo, number 50? What is number 50 doing here? Okay, hey, 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 hey. hey. I don't know what that means, okay? What is... Oh, and, I, and now it's gone? Wait. <laughs> we can literally move it, but I don't know where it went, okay? I don't, where, wait, wait. I lost... Oh, it's right here. Wait, now it looks like a 20. Wait, <laughs> now it looks like a 20? And now it looks like a 50? But like, let me know what you guys think this is for. You better like and subscribe. Or you're never getting good fruits again. Today in Block Shroots, I made a list full of myths that are crazy to test in Block Shroots. And I want to see if these are true or fake. Because some myths might actually break the game completely. So today's video, we're going to be checking out myths. If they can break the game. Or if they're completely nonsense. Now we're instantly going to get started. And the first myth says, If you use God Human C ability, you can lie down in a chair. And luckily, I have God Human right over here. All right, so God Human C ability like that next to a chair. Once we do that, and now we need to sit in a chair. How do I sit in a chair? Wait. Okay, come on. Can I sit in a chair? I'm too far. All right, maybe like this. I'm next. Okay, there you go. Now, what the? Okay. Let go. Um, and now I lie down. Okay, what? <laughs> This myth is confirmed. I guess I can lie down in a chair. Like, <laughs> what? What if I get back into the chair? Let's see. Oh, that's my default sit now. What? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? That is so weird. What if I try using ability? Oh, I can't use abilities. But Star, I need you for the next myth. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling. Nothing wrong with that. That looked insane. I mean, look at this, look at this. So if I do this, can I fly out of the chair? Oh, 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 you can also sit in the air. Uh, yo, yo, I've never done this. Wait, I can do any abilities. Okay, I'm stuck in the air. How do, how do I get out? Oh, I just jumped. Yo, that myth is crazy. But for the next myth, people say that you get the same fruit if you roll a fruit at the same time another player roll the fruit. And we have done this before, so this shouldn't be a surprise. To be honest, I already know this myth is kind of true because we often roll a fruit at the same time. Okay, just get ready, okay? Don't roll yet, okay? Be on the random fruit and now three, two, one, and go. Let's see. Oh, another one. Go, go, go. And let's see. You got a flame fruit and I got a spin fruit. Okay, this myth is a busted, okay? We did not get the same fruit. Now, the next myth says you can apparently trade the belly, okay? All my heart and brand, look at this. 70 million belly. I can apparently trade that. Okay, let's go on a trade. Let's see if this is actually true, okay? Let's go over here. Sit down. There you go. Can I sit down? Wait, it, it glitched. I can't even sit down on a chair anymore. The okay, there you go. All right, let's see. Starts in the trade. And now let's see. We can apparently trade. Wait, what is this? Oh, what the heck? We can trade the belly um all right say hey hey that's a deal oh oh we can't even trade that what the heck bro we can't even trade our belly oh my god but i guess you can trade the belly myth confirmed that is so weird i never knew about that one now the next myth says if you have ming v3 pilot helmet and the leopard fruit you have infinite speed so we're gonna try that out okay let's see oh Bro, why do you bring me in combat? I can't switch fruits now. Now, I don't have Ming V3 right now, so I have to reroll races, okay? I have to try if it's real. All right, so we go over here. I hope this doesn't eat all my Robux, okay? 90 Robux per spin. You better give me Ming. You better give me Ming, please. Grab. Okay. Oh, rabbit. Okay, that's Ming. That's Ming. Okay, first try. Easy. Now, as you can see, this is Ming V3. Now, all we have to do is transform into Leopard. And I already have Pilot Helmet on, so let's see. Apparently, there's also another step, which is using the C ability. And then, we have God Speed. So, 3, 2, 1, C. And now, Ming ability. Oh, my... Bro. God Speed. Okay, this is actually God Speed. What? I'm the fastest alive. Okay, that is definitely one of the fastest you can go, okay? This is like... 
What? This is true. Myth confirmed. That is insane, bro. Oh my god. The next myth says that if you equip the Kilo Fruit and use the Lighten ability, you can go on forever into the sky. Well, let's try it out, okay? See you later, star. Can we reach the moon? I don't know, okay? We're, we're going, okay? Oh, oh, he's right behind me, okay? I guess he's testing it with me. Let's see. How far can we go? It is already getting super high. What the heck? I guess it really goes on forever, but I'm gonna go even further. Let's see how far we can go. Wait, can we reach the Race Awakening Temple, which is high up in the sky? I don't even see it, but maybe. All right, Turtle Island is starting to fade away, okay? We're super, super high. What the heck? I guess this really goes forever, but how far can we actually go? All right, guys, officially, I don't see the Turtle Island anymore. Not even a single dollar. I've been flying out for like five to ten minutes, and I... There's no end to this! I guess it's time to fall down, okay? Three, two, one. See ya! Oh, he uses a kilo. Wait, what if I use a kilo? Oh, we're a meteor! Oh, my God. Oh, I've never seen this. What the heck? It stops! What? <laughs> Look at this. I've never used it like this, bro. Kilo is crazy. What? All right, I guess mid confirmed. Now, the next mid says you can drop a physical fruit on lava and it will melt. Okay, that seems very nonsense. We're gonna try it out, right? Now, we've already rolled the fruits, so we have to buy one from the doghouse. All right, what's up, doghouse? Let's see. Give me your kilo fruit. Is it called kilo fruit for 100 Robux? I'm about to get scammed. There goes 100 Robux, and I just got a physical kilo fruit, and apparently I can drop it. I can drop it. And now we go on to the lava and all we have to do is drop this kilo fruit and apparently it will melt so let's see uh it's it's not melting it it's okay <laughs> this myth is definitely fake what myth busted now while we're here there's another myth is that if you equip a leopard and use the transformation you can apparently not take damage oh Okay, yeah, this is true. Okay, you cannot take damage from lava. And I kind of already knew this, okay? As you can see, I'm fully resistant to lava, and yeah, nobody can go in here. Like if anyone comes to fight me, he's gonna take damage. So this is actually pretty insane. Mid confirmed. Now the next mid says that you can take damage when you have the doe ability, and you use it from the sky. Now as you can see, I'm not taking any damage while I'm, like, just riding on the water. But apparently, if you drop high from the sky with this ability, you will receive damage. Alright, I guess let's try it out. Let's go super, super high. Let's see. Okay, I think that's high enough. Now let's drop down. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we take damage. Mid confirmed, I guess. All right, guys. The next mid says that if you have Doe equipped, let's equip Doe over here. If you collide with another player with the F movement ability, something weird will happen, okay? So use the F ability and let's collide, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Oh, we both took them. What? I guess mid confirmed. Bro, we, we both took damage. What the heck? And apparently the next mid says that if you use spiky trident Z ability at the same time with another player, something even crazier will happen. So let's go and try it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh my. What the heck? What was that? Wait, the game glitched for a sec. Wait, I need to try that again. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh my. Okay, the game is glitching. Myth confirmed. What the heck? Wait, what if I can glitch into the laboratory? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what is that? What the heck? And I meant factory, obviously. Jeez, that myth is insane. Now on to the next myth. All right, guys, before we go on to the next myth, we even found something crazier. You can glitch under the map while doing this glitch. So star goes up and I stay down. And if we collide like this, three, two, one, go. Wait, what? Okay, this time we went up, but if we go down, we literally glitch under the map. So let's go and try it again. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're below the map. We're below the. Oh my. What happened? Wait, we're at the awakening altar. Wait, can we get in? Please, can we get in? Okay, come on. Wait, so we can apparently glitch in here. How do we do this again? Okay, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay. Oh, I'm in the walls. I'm in the walls. I'm in the walls. What if I teleport over there? Wait, wait. Oh. I just got in. What the heck? And that's another myth. You can glitch inside of this place. The awakening altar. So this myth also confirmed. How did you get in here as well? Oh my god. Okay. Now the next myth says if you use god human sea ability in a boat, you can launch the boat. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, let's see. So uh, let's get an enforcer. I'm pretty sure you have to have the enforcer. And then all you do is like sit very close to the chair. Use the sea ability like that. Get in the chair. There you go. Uh, okay. It's already glitching. Let's see. Oh, what the, um, what is my boat doing? Uh, this doesn't look good. What the heck? Let's go and try it again. Let's see. What if I, wait, I can do it again because I'm in the boat. I guess we have to go down. Um, yeah, my boat is, <laughs> can I please have my boat back? You know what? Let's just spawn another one. Okay, what if we move it a little bit like this? Let's see. Come on. Okay, close to the chair. 
Do this. Sit in the chair. Oh. Oh, I can literally aim. What the heck? What if I aim up? It doesn't go up. Okay, this is weird. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, we're in the boat. Let's see. Okay, so I can attack stars somehow in a boat. Okay, this is so weird. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's see. So we go sit, sit in a boat, and now boom. Oh, oh, it glitched for a second. You guys seen that? But it went off land very quickly. But that's pretty much how you launch a boat. Interesting myth confirmed. The next myth says if you're low HP with the Venom fly ability, you fly super fast. So now normally it's like this. Let's see. It's pretty slow. I see, I see. Let's see. Star hit me. Okay, we're all the way to 1k HP. Let's see. Oh, this is definitely faster. What the heck? Yo, but this is fast. What? I'm fast. What the heck? Yo, this is insane. This is super fast. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Imagine you're getting like beat up and then you can just fly away like that. That is super good. Maybe that's why Venom is so good. You just literally fly away from everybody that's attacking you. Okay, it's Venom versus Light. Okay, Light is... Okay, okay. Light is super fast. Okay, yeah. This is not even comparable. What if we collide? Collide? Wait, what if I collide? Okay, we can't collide. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we can collide. Boom! Oh, we collided! What the heck? Yo, mid confirmed. I guess we can collide. Now, the next mid says if you're subscribed and you type a certain thing in the chat, you will get three times as much luck rolling a fruit. So, subscribe. Only subscribers get a stock, okay? Now, all you have to do is type slash e sir luck like that. There we go. Slash e sir luck. Now, roll fruit. Now, roll fruit, okay? This is gonna be the best luck you've ever had. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh... Hey, it's not a kilo fruit, okay? And and I think it's bugged out, okay? I, I'm supposed to get a leopard fruit, okay? You, you guys know this. I'm getting dough fruits all the time, okay? So, so you better subscribe, okay? Or get kilo fruits for the rest of your life, okay? So this myth is confirmed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Today in block shoots, I made a list full of myths that are crazy to test in block shoots. And I want to see if these are true or fake. Because some myths might actually break the game completely. So today's video, we're going to be checking out myths. If they can break the game. Or if they're completely nonsense. Now we're instantly gonna get started. And the first myth says, if you use God Human C ability, you can lie down in a chair. And luckily, I have God Human right over here. All right, so God Human C ability like that, next to a chair, once we do that, and now we need to sit in a chair. How do I sit in a chair? Wait, okay, come on. Can I sit in a chair? I'm too far. All right, maybe like this, I'm next. Okay, there we go. Now, what the, okay. Let go. Um, And now I lie down. Okay, what? <laughs> This myth is confirmed. I guess I can lie down in a chair. Like, <laughs> what? What if I get back into the chair? Let's see. Oh, that's my default sit now. What? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? That is so weird. What if I try using a boat? Oh, I can't use abilities. But Star, I need you for the next myth. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling. Nothing wrong with that. That looked insane. I mean, look at this, look at this. So if I do this, can I fly out of the chair? Oh, 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 you can also sit in the air. Uh, yo, yo, I've never done this. Wait, I can do any abilities. Okay, I'm stuck in the air. How do, how do I get out? Oh, I just jump. Yo, that myth is crazy. But for the next myth, people say that you get the same fruit if you roll a fruit at the same time another player rolled a fruit. And we have done this before, so this shouldn't be a surprise. To be honest, I already know this myth is kind of true because we often roll a fruit at the same time. Okay, just get ready. Okay, don't roll yet. Okay, be on the random fruit. And now three. Three, two, one, and go. Let's see. Oh, another one. Go, go, go. And let's see. You got a flame fruit and I got a spin fruit. Okay, this myth is a busted, okay? We did not get the same fruit. Now, the next myth says you can apparently trade the belly, okay? All my heart and brand, look at this. 70 million belly. I can apparently trade that. Okay, let's go on a trade. Let's see if this is actually true, okay? Let's go over here. Sit down. There you go. Can I sit down? Wait, it, it glitched. I can't even sit down on a chair anymore. The okay, oh, there you go. All right, let's see. Starts in the trade and now let's see. We can apparently trade. Wait, what is this? Oh, what the heck? We can trade the belly um all right say hey hey that's a deal oh oh we can't even trade that what the heck bro we can't even trade our belly oh my god but i guess you can trade the belly myth confirmed that is so weird i never knew about that one now the next myth says if you have ming v3 pilot helmet and the leopard fruit you have infinite speed so we're gonna try that out okay let's see oh Bro, why do you bring me in combat? I can't switch fruits now. Now, I don't have Ming V3 right now, so I have to reroll races, okay? I have to try if it's real, all right? So we go over here. I hope this doesn't eat all my Robux, okay? 90 Robux per spin. You better give me Ming. You better give me Ming, please. 
Rab okay. Oh, rabbit. Okay, that's mink. That's mink. Okay, first try. Easy. Now, as you can see, this is mink v3. Now, all we have to do is transform into leopard. And I already have pilot helmet on, so let's see. Apparently, there's also another step, which is using the C ability. And then, we have god speed. So, three, two, one. C. And now, mink ability. Oh, my... Bro. God speed. Okay, this is actually god speed. What? I'm the fastest alive. Okay, that is definitely one of the fastest you can go. Okay, this is like... What? This is true. Mid confirmed. That is insane, bro. Oh my god. The next mid says that if you equip the Kilo Fruit and use the Lighten ability, you can go on forever into the sky. Well, let's try it out, okay? See you later, star. Can we reach the moon? I don't know, okay? We're, we're going, okay? Oh, oh, he's right behind me, okay? I guess he's testing it with me. Let's see. How far can we go? This is already getting super high. What the heck? I guess it really goes on forever, but I'm gonna go even further. Let's see how far we can go. Wait, can we reach the Race Awakening Temple, which is high up in the sky? I don't even see it, but maybe. All right, Turtle Island is starting to fade away, okay? We're super, super high. What the heck? I guess this really goes forever, but how far can we actually go? All right, guys, officially, I don't see the Turtle Island anymore. Not even a single dot. I've been flying out for like five to ten minutes, and I... There's no end to this! I guess it's time to fall down, okay? Three, two, one. See ya! Oh, he uses a kilo. Wait, what if I use a kilo? Oh, we're a meteor! Oh my god. Oh, I've never seen this. What the heck? It stops. What? <laughs> Look at this. I've never used it like this, bro. <laughs> Kilo is crazy. What? All right, I guess mid confirmed. Now, the next mid says you can drop a physical fruit on lava and it will melt. Okay, that seems very nonsense. We're gonna try it out, right? Now, we've already rolled the fruits, so we have to buy one from the doghouse. All right, what's up, doghouse? Let's see. Give me your Kilo fruit. Is it called Kilo fruit for 100 Robux? I'm about to get scammed. There goes 100 Robux, and I just got a physical Kilo fruit, and apparently I can drop it. I can drop drop it and now we go on to the lava and all we have to do is drop this kilo fruit and apparently it will melt so let's see uh it's it's not melting it it's okay <laughs> this myth is definitely fake what's myth busted now while we're here there's another myth is that if you equip a leopard and use the transformation you can apparently not take damage oh Okay, yeah, this is true. Okay, you cannot take damage from lava. And I kind of already knew this, okay? As you can see, I'm fully resistant to lava, and yeah, nobody can go in here. If anyone comes to fight me, he's gonna take damage. So this is actually pretty insane. Mid confirmed. Now the next mid says that you can take damage when you have the Doe ability, and you use it from the sky. And as you can see, I'm not taking any damage while I'm, like, just riding on the water. But apparently, if you drop high from the sky with this ability, you will receive damage. All right, I guess let's try it out. Let's go super, super high. Let's see. Okay, I think that's high enough. Now let's drop down. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we take damage. Mid confirmed, I guess. All right, guys, the next mid says that if you have Doe equipped, let's equip Doe over here. If you collide with another player with the F movement ability, something weird will happen, okay? So use the F ability and let's collide, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Bruh. Oh, we both took them. What? I guess mid confirmed. Bro, we, we both took damage. What the heck? And apparently the next mid says that if you use spiky trident Z ability at the same time with another player, something even crazier will happen. So let's go and try it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh my... What the heck? What was that? Wait, the game glitched for a sec. Wait, I need to try that again. Okay, three... Two, one, go. Oh my- Okay, the game is glitching. Myth confirmed. What the heck? Wait, what if I can glitch into the laboratory? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what is that? What the heck? And I meant factory, obviously. Jeez, that myth is insane. Now on to the next myth. Alright, guys, before we go on to the next myth, we even found something crazier. You can glitch under the map while doing this glitch. So star goes up, and I stay down, and if we collide like this... Three, two, one, go. Wait, what? Okay, this time we went up, but if we go down, we literally glitch under the map. So let's gonna try it again. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 we're below the map, we're below the- Oh my- What happened? Wait, we're at the awakening altar, wait, can we get in? Please, can we get in? Okay, come on, wait, so we can apparently glitch in here, how do we do this again? Okay, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, okay. oh, I'm in the walls, I'm in the walls, I'm in the walls! What if I teleport over there? Wait, wait, oh, 
I just got in. What the heck? And that's another myth. You can glitch inside of this place. The awakening altar. So this myth also confirmed. How did you get in as well? Oh my god. Okay. Now the next myth says, if you use god human sea ability in a boat, you can launch the boat. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, let's see. So uh, let's get an enforcer. I'm pretty sure you have to have the enforcer. And then all you do is like sit very close to the chair. Use the sea ability like that. Get in the chair. There you go. Uh, okay, it's already glitching. Let's see. Oh, what the, um, what is my boat doing? Uh, this doesn't look good. What the heck? Let's go and try it again. Let's see. What if I, wait, I can do it again because I'm in the boat. I guess we have to get out. Um, yeah, my boat is, <laughs> can I please have my boat back? You know what? Let's just spawn another one. Okay, what if we move it a little bit like this? Let's see. Come on. Okay, close to the chair. Do this. Sit in the chair. Oh, oh, I can literally aim. What the heck? What if I aim up? It doesn't go up. Okay, this is weird. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, we're in the boat. Let's see. Okay, so I can attack Star somehow in a boat. Okay, this is so weird. Wait, let's try it one more time. Let's see. So we go sit, sit in a boat, and now boom. Oh, oh it glitched for a second. You guys seen that? But it went off land very quickly. But that's pretty much how you launch a boat. Interesting myth confirmed. The next myth says if you're low HP with the Venom fly ability, you fly super fast. So now normally it's like this. Let's see. It's pretty slow. I see, I see. Let's see. Star, hit me. Okay, we're all the way to 1k HP. Let's see. Oh, this is definitely faster. What the heck? Yo, but this is fast. What? I'm fast. What the heck? Yo, this is insane. This is super fast. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Imagine you're getting like beat up and then you can just fly away like that. That is super good. Maybe that's why Venom is so good. You just literally fly away from everybody that's attacking you. Okay, it's Venom versus Light. Okay, Light is... Okay, okay. Light is super fast. Okay, yeah. This is not even comparable. What if we collide? Collide? Wait, what if I collide? Okay, we can't collide. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we can collide. Boom! Oh, we collided! What the heck? Yo, mid confirmed. I guess we can collide. Now, the next mid says, if you're subscribed and you type a certain thing in the chat, you will get three times as much luck rolling a fruit. So, subscribe. Only subscribers get a stock, okay? Now, all you have to do is type slash e sir luck like that there you go slash e sir luck now roll fruit now roll fruit okay this is gonna be the best luck you've ever had come on come on oh uh, hey it's not a kilo fruit okay and and i think it's bugged out okay I, i'm supposed to get a leopard fruit okay you, you guys know this i'm getting dough fruits all the time okay so, so you better subscribe okay or get kilo fruits for the rest of your life okay so this myth is confirmed and i'll see you guys on the next one all right guys in this video i'm going to be testing banned glitches in block shoots to see if they actually work and i saw some pretty insane glitches that we can test so make sure to watch this video till the end because you won't regret it because some glitches are pretty game breaking and if this video hits 3,000 likes i'm gonna do a part two but the best glitch of the game is obviously the the mythical fruit roll which is um don't type that in over here slash e sear lock every single time you roll a fruit boom type that in and it has worked for a lot of you guys okay so you, you don't even have to like worry about it press all right press random fruit and if you don't get a good fruit oh uh, i just got a flame fruit i guess that's all right i think it glitched out a little bit because obviously you guys know that this method actually grants you mythicals tested by many of you okay okay enough of that let's go and get over with the first glitch have you ever wanted to be really really fast in block shoots without having the main race equipped and without having any of the perm fruits like kitsune leopard and spirit fruit for the glitch well you can now okay you can have an infinite speed glitch by just using a buddha fruit now hey hold on do you guys still do not have a buddha fruit until the day of today i'm gonna be giving out five Buddha fruits for every single thousand likes on this video. So hit that like and let's go and check this glitch out. And this signal right here shows new best glitch in block shoot. And you already got a Buddha fruit equipped, so let's go and check this out. Now first, you have to equip unawakened Buddha. Okay, first you have to unequip uh, unawakened Buddha, then grab any of the fruits in your inventory. Hold on, hold on, let's go and do this. Okay, first we need Buddha equipped. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I have unawakened version. Let's see. Uh, unawakened. Oh, this is the awakened one. Okay, so we have to uh, change it to unawakened. We need to do it over here. Okay, oh, I think it downstairs. I think downstairs. Okay, so if you do not know where to change it, you have to go all the way here. Like, there you go. Awake Awakening expert. Once you talk to this guy, you can actually unawaken your Z ability. There you go. Just click that. Unawakened. And now you should be able to unawakened transform into the Buddha. All right, so let's go do it right now. Okay, there you go. And we have unawakened Buddha as oh what? Oh my god, my horns are gold. I've never seen that before. Okay, anyway, now you have to like literally grab any fruit. Okay, any fruit. Okay? You can literally grab a spike fruit. Okay, if you, if you have 15 chalk fruit like me, okay, there you go. Grab a chalk fruit and there you go. Now, once you have all that, is the fruit okay? Shift lock, jump, and D. Okay, shift lock, jump, and D. And then oh, oh, what wait. Yo, oh, what? And fly away. Yo, he's flying. He's flying. What the? Okay, we have to try this. Okay, we literally have to try this. Okay, so first step is shift lock, okay? We can we shift lock later. We have a fruit in our hand. And now we press D. So walking to the right and just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, 
Yo. What the? Oh, I got teleported back. What the heck? I'm literally getting teleported back by the anti-cheat. That's how this glitch... Oh my... Wait. It, oh my god. This might be more OP than the spirit fruit glitch. Oh, uh, wait. This is insane. Wait a minute. But what if we combine this with a spirit fruit glitch? This would be insane. Hold on. Let me, let me try again. Yo. Oh my... Oh my... Yo. Oh, oh. I can teleport back. I can... Yeah, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. This glitch. All right. We need to try one thing. Let's go and equip the spirit fruit right here. And let's see if it's gonna change the glitch. Now, we're already getting teleported back. So, I don't know if it's gonna make any more sense to even use the spirit fruit. But let's just go and see what happens. Now, is the spirit fruit glitch still working? Let's see. Okay. Eight spirits. Let's see. Let's spam a little bit. Okay. There we go. We got one piggy. Let's see. Okay. Come on. Come on. Piggies. Piggies. Come on. Please give me piggies. Please give me piggies. Please give me piggies. Oh, I spawned these monsters. No, I didn't get the timing right. Okay. Come on. I wasn't even looking. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't feel much more speedier, but let's see. Come on. Come on. Three more. Okay. Two piggies. Okay. Now let's change it up. Change fruit and change it back. I, I hope I got speed. Okay, I think I still got my speed. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. While we're waiting for the spirits to load up, apparently there's a glitch that can make us fly forever, which we're going to try in a second. Okay. Let's see spirit. Okay. Nine. Let's see. Come on. Nine. Come on. Please, 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 please. Um, okay, two piggies. That's good. That's good. Two piggies. Come on, piggies. Give me piggies. Give me piggies. Come on. Okay, that's one, two. Okay, four. Good. Let's see, come on. More piggies. More piggies. Only piggies. Okay, there you go. Now change the fruit. Okay, there you go. Wait, is it patched? Is it patched? Wait, I think it's patched. I think it's patched. Wait, are we speedy? Uh, I don't know. All right, let's just go and wait for one more spirit reload and then go and test the glitch. All right, come on. Eight. Okay, let's just go and pre fire. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Um, okay, that was one wrong one. There's a lot of piggies here. Okay, I should be getting a lot more speed. Come on. Please. 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 Okay, there you go. That's okay. This is way more speed. Okay, but what if I unequip it? Let's see. Am I losing my speed? Wait, actually, my running speed is the same. Wait, um... Wait, did I fix it? And I'm not getting really faster. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on. Let's spam them. Let's spam them. Come on. Piggies, piggies, piggies. Oh, one piggy. Really? So my running is literally the same. Look at this. I'm not even moving a little bit faster. Let's see my dashes. Come on. Okay, let's see. Let's do more. Okay, there you go. Okay, the dash is supposed to be longer. Let's see. One dash. As you can see, the third pillar and then exactly right here. And once I switch back to another food, my effect should be all gone. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Come on. Eh. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. We got a shorter distance, so that means the glitch got patched. No. So I'm guessing the Buddha glitch is now the new spirit glitch. This video literally shows how to do the god glitch. Uh, yeah, you're about to see what the god glitch is. Okay, let's see. So let's go and play this right now. And uh, um, uh, yeah, he's literally flying. He's literally flying. Bro. Very over party. I'm, I'm guessing, bro. Like, he literally is flying. And he can use every single skill in the air. Wait, what? What the heck? But how do you do this glitch? Okay, let's see. Okay, so step number one is get a spider fruit. Okay, so first we have to get a spider fruit. Obviously, if you have it permanent, you don't have to eat it. But let's see. Come on. Okay, after that, you have to equip her mammoth and use spider swing fast. Does it have to be mammoth? Okay, we, we have to do mammoth and then use spider swing fast. What does that mean? What does it mean? Let's see. Come on. See? Oh, oh, oh. We did first try. What the heck? Did for oh. Yo, what? Okay, we just need to try this. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is eat spider food, but we don't have to eat it because we can literally just equip it like that. Then after that, we have to use a uh, spider highway, I'm pretty sure. And we have to like equip mammoth while doing it. So just like this okay i didn't time it push like this okay so we click once and then like that oh okay again it's just gonna work and let's see come on equip and then like that oh my god no Wait, like this oh my god okay oh i got it i got it oh my god what yo i got uh what what is going on what what is going bro i'm literally flying like I can't even control it. Wait, I can't control it. I, I literally, like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck flying. I'm stuck flying. What is a cool thing to do? I, I don't even know. Wait, can we emote? Wait, oh, I'm literally flying away. Can I, uh, can I get back though? Hello? Oh, please. Um, can I get, I'm literally flying away. I can't go back. I can't go, uh, I can't go back. What if I switch my fruits? Wait, if I switch back to spider like that and, oh, uh, I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm still, I'm still going. It's, it's, I, I guess this dish works and, uh, yeah, you will fly infinitely in the air. Like, wh where, where, am I going to the moon? Can, can I reach the moon, please? Can I reach the moon? Yeah, I, I want to go to the moon. Oh, we have to reset because, uh, we, we have to get back somehow, right? right? So this next TikTok shows really good PvP glitch with the god human. Let's go play right now. Let's see. Okay, so apparently it's like really, really fast. Yeah, look at this. Oh, he's really, really fast with god human. And apparently, like, okay, he, he doesn't every single time. Look at this. Like, he's like, you can move super, super fast with god human. Okay, here's normal versus glitch. Let's see. Right, normal god human is literally just like that yeah you're, you're not even going like you're not jumping right now with the speed he's like flicking it and now he's like in his glitch position and oh my god okay he can go really really far okay so first you have to get all melee to 400 okay i'm so i'm pretty sure he's doing like god human yeah this is like for god human then you have to get god human at the tree okay 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 once you get god human look up fast and use the first god human skill let's see um Okay, what? Yo, and it takes some practice. All right, guys, we already got a god human right here. And we have to use the soaring beast ability. Okay, so the normal god human skill is this, okay? So we charge up and we just let go, okay? And, and it goes kind of far, right? We can go way, way farther. So apparently if we flick it up, let's see, okay? Let's see. Like that? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's try again, let's try again. Oh, like that? Oh, yo. 
Oh my god. Wait. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. What the? I'm all the way over here. What the? Yo, okay, so I zoom in. I have my mouse like right here. And then I like do this. It didn't work. Look, it didn't work. So you have to like keep jumping. And then you go really, really far. But it doesn't work this time. See, we do like this. Come on. And it didn't work again. Look at that. You have to like keep jumping in one place. And you can go really, really far. Let's try again. Let's see like this. Come on. Look at this. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh. I'm, I'm literally just jumping. I'm literally just, What the heck? And you can just do this with God Human. And if you can do it every single time, this might be really overpowered. Like, imagine someone's running away from you and you're just like... Like this, man. Like, you got it in one time. Okay, this time it didn't work. You can get it every single time if you, like, practice it. This is pretty insane. Okay, let's try one more time. Like this. Come on. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, come on. We gotta get it one more time. Come on, like this. Okay. Come on. Oh. Maybe like this. Come on. No. Okay, maybe like this. It worked, it worked. Yo, what the heck? Okay, this is just really, really cool. In this block shoots video, I once again go to break the game, all right? So prepare. One of the things you have never seen before that you didn't even know were possible to do in block shoots. I'm going to be breaking the game by trying myths and glitches. And this is the first one. Here we got the first video that says how to do a invisible glitch. Right, let me see, let me see what's going on over here, okay? Let's see. So apparently he's invisible. All right, so he's a dragon, but wait, a dragon is floating? What the heck? Oh yeah, he is invisible. Pretend to be a fruits okay we can do that wait okay let's see so the first step is to become human okay so he's becoming human right now um by the rules but i'm pretty sure he's gonna use human v4 and i on this account do not have human v4 so we'll have to switch accounts and the next step is to become human v4 as you can see he's already transforming all right guys go ahead and meet the johnny or actually this account isn't even called johnny but uh let's just call it johnny for now but we're gonna go ahead and switch to human v4 but first we gotta get the bar all the way up so we can transform into human v4 and uh, i guess we gotta Slashy skeleton stuff. Come here, skeletons. You are gonna die. Because I need my human v4, okay? And we need to transform quickly so we can do the glitch. Come here. Come here. Okay, come on, come on. The boss almost filled up. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Now we gotta transform into human v4. Let's go. And now let's go and watch it. Let's go and watch what we gotta do now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He's literally becoming human v4 right now. Okay, let's see. What is he doing after? Okay, so human v4. There we go. Get the light fruit. Wait, the light fruit. So now we gotta equip the light fruit and then flash step while fly. All right, so we gotta flash step after. Oh, after after flying, we also got a flash step, and then he is waiting for V4 to go away. All right. All right, let's see. Let's see. He's going. Oh, oh, it's over. Wait, it's invisible. Wait, what the heck? Yo, no way. Okay, so we're in human V4 right now, and now we gotta grab the light fruit. Okay, so light fruit. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we gotta equip the light fruit right here. Okay, there you go. We gotta equip, and now all we have to do is flash step, fly. Okay, we're invisible for our flying, and then out of thing, boom. Okay, and now I think we're literally invisible. Wait, are we invisible? What, what the heck? Wait, we're literally invisible, I think. We're literally invisible. And now we gotta wait for our V4 to go away. So we gotta grab a fruit or something. So let's see. We can pretend to be a fruit. So let's see. All right, let me grab like Buddha fruit. Hopefully we don't die or something. Like we got a Buddha fruit right here. And let's see. So let's go and wait until it goes away so we can go invisible. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, I I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. I'm kind of skeptical, but let's see. Let's see if it actually literally works. And now we can pretend to be a Buddha fruit or even be invisible. That that's even sick. Like, that's even more sick. Like, what the heck? Like, is this actually gonna work? work and i doubt it's gonna work right there's no way this works i am invisible now though so i think the glitch is already working okay so we're about to run out okay the bar is about to run out let's see let's see what's gonna happen are we gonna stay invisible or are we gonna go back to normal okay let's see uh should we hold the buddha fruit i don't know if I should. let's see uh, uh oh we're invisible we're invis we're literally invisible we're literally invisible yo wait this this is actually working let's see let's hold the buddha fruit no what the a uh, flying fruits yo yo what the yo what Wait, you can actually troll people really bad with this. So you can literally like go invisible and you can like stand somewhere. You can act like the fruit is there. You can act like the fruit. Wait, you can troll people so badly. Imagine if I just go right here. Let's see. Uh, can I like make it look like it's on a rock or something? Just like that, a Buddha fruit on the rock. Nobody will literally, like people were literally trying to like pick it up or something. What the heck? But I'm on a private server, so I can't really test it right now. But this is insane. It's actually working. Like we're literally invisible. Like nobody can see us. I don't know if it's for other people though. Can other people also not see me? That would be insane. Otherwise, this glitch is literally game breaking. Wait, can I grab my god human and start? Oh, we can we can start punching people. Oh no, what the heck? Invisible puncher. Wait, this this would be insane. Wait, can I grab my sword? Maybe. Oh, I can grab my sword. A flying sword. What the heck? This glitch is insane. We can literally slash up these skeletons while being invisible. Or I mean, I guess they can see us. I guess they're going out after us. Okay, I guess they can see us. I guess he's seeing the weapon. He's running up behind the weapon. I guess so. Wait, wait what if I hide the weapon? Oh, oh no, it's still my back. Wait, now it's on my back. I'm not invisible anymore. No, no, no. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. But this glitch works, so yeah, this is really cool. All right, guys, this next video shows spinning fruit glitch tutorial, and he's spinning the fruit on his hand. That looks so cool. Okay, it's like more a visual glitch, but oh, you can also do a soul glitch. 
What? Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. Let's see. Uh, first, pick any fruit. Okay, so first, we got to pick, like, any fruit. Okay. Then get pull V1. Okay, we have pull V1. Okay, that's good. That's easy. I think everyone has it, so that's easy. All right, so the trick is to unequip pull and at the same time use the X ability of the pull V2. So you got to unequip it at the same time you use the ability. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard, right? So exactly what he's doing right now, right? So he clicks on the pull, he unequips it, and he uses the ability at the same time, okay? And he's... Oh, my God. Wait, he's spinning his hand. Wait, it looks so cool. Wait. You can spin fruits out. Oh my god. Wait, wait, I gotta try this. I gotta try this. Oh, I'm still invisible. What the heck? Wait, what if I fly? What if I fly? Oh. Oh, there I am. There you go. All right, guys. We're on the main right now. We're back. And let's see. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our fruit. So I think the dough fruit would look cool because like the effects and stuff like that. So let's unsort that one. All right, we got the dough fruit. Okay, we got a dark bait right now. So we got to change it to pole V1, which is right here. Okay, we got that as well. And once we got that, now we got to equip or unequip it while we use the ability. So let's see if it... Okay, let's see. One. Did it work? It did not work. Okay, it did not work. All right, this might be harder than I think. Okay, let's see. Second try. Let's see. Come on. Oh, I got it. Yo. Yo, I got it. Wait, my hands are spinning. What the? Wait, this is real. Oh my. I can't move though. I can't move. I cannot move though. What the? Um, let's see. Equip dough fruits. And uh, yes, sir. The dough fruit. Oh my god. This looks so sick. Yo. What? I've never seen this in my life. I've never seen this in my life. This looks so fun. What the heck? I cannot move. Like, I can literally not move. Like, can I flash step? Oh, ah. Uh, okay, it teleports me back. Oh, I guess. What? The, I, I can't move. Okay, so that means if I grab my soul guitar, it does the same thing. Wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. Just watch. Just watch, right? We equip Buddha fruits. And we equip Dark Blade. Okay, I guess in Buddha... Oh, what the... Um, what is that? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. What am I doing to the ground? What am I doing to the ground? I right, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's transform back. And yo, no, no. What the? Yo, yo, what is going on? I can spin you round and round. Like what the? Yo, the dark blade is spinning around. Okay, wait. What this is sick. All right, this must be one of the coolest glitches I've ever done in block shoots. Like this is pretty much breaking the game completely. Like, what, have you ever seen this? Like what? Yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. I guess you can do this with every single sword. So yeah, this is really cool. But guys, I guess it's time for the next glitch. All right, but what if I told you this next glitch is gonna make you fly? Okay, maybe not fly, but you can jump really really high. And what if I even told you that you can jump as high as that tall building right there? Yeah, you would never believe me, right? But what if I told you I can? And I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, keep watching because the glitch after this is even crazier. Alright, so this video shows super jump glitch tutorial, alright? Let's go and watch it. There's a lot of likes. Let's see. So, uh, yo. Okay, he's... Uh, <laughs> What the? I don't know what that was, but literally this is as strong as admin powers. Okay, uh, show me. How do we do this glitch? Let's see. Can jump over the sea castle even? What? Yo, yo, what the? Um, easy chest, he says. Oh, you can farm money with this as well. So, oh, this is really good, actually. Imagine you can, like, jump super, super high at the, like, haunted castle. This is game breaking. Oh, this... Okay, okay, let me, let me see, let me see. Wait, what? This is actually insane. Wait, hold on. Jumps over the tree at, at Turtle Island? Wait, at the big tree? At, like, the big tree in front of me at that tree right over there and there's no way there is no way but let's, go, let's go keep watching let's go keep watching here's how you do it okay let's see let's see step number one open your settings okay change to click to move okay click to okay so your movement mode has to be click to move so that means when you click you walk where you click okay that that speaks for itself that speaks for itself now you have to jump click and dash and yo Wait, what? All right, so he jumped all the way over to that tree. Okay, we gotta try this. Okay, so first go settings. Right here, movement mode. And we have to change this to click to move. Okay, there you go. We got it. Now apparently you have to do a few steps and we can jump really high. Okay, so apparently we need to jump, click, dash. Okay, I did, I, I did that totally wrong. Okay, let's see. Click, jump. Yo, no. Wait. What? Um, it already worked. Okay, but I didn't jump really high. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe a few more times. Check that. Oh, this was really low. Wait, okay, so it's kind of random, I think. Sometimes you can jump really high, I think. Let's see, come on. It literally works already. It literally works. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so first jump, okay? First jump, then click, and then and then dash. Oh, okay. Um, kinda, I'm kind of tripping over over here, but let's see, let's see. Jump, click, dash. Come on, go higher, go higher. Go. Oh my god. Okay, come on, come on. Maybe I have to time it or something. Click, jump, click. All right, nothing changes if I do it early. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out. Okay, come on. Go higher. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost got over it. I definitely jumped over as the tower. Okay, I definitely did that. But guys, you guys know what I want to do, right? If we can do this glitch every time, we can farm a lot of money. Okay, this might be really game breaking if you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Oh 
my god. Oh my, oh my. Okay, this is really crazy. Okay, this is really crazy. Now we can new this chest. Okay, 11,000. Easy. But what if it works at a haunted castle? Okay, so what we're gonna try is we're gonna do it right here. Okay, let's see. Come on, we're in front of it. We jump, we click, we dash. Come on. Yo. Okay, we can go really high. And then from here, we can just light foot up, okay? So I guess we can uh, get a head start. This is really crazy. Imagine we can go even higher. Come on, come on, come on. But I know we can go higher, okay? Come on, click. There we go. Jump. Come on, come on. Go higher. Go. Oh, my. Oh, this is high. This is really, really high. What the heck? Is this like rubber fruit slingshot, but 10 times better? I don't know what to say to this, all right? This is a crazy glitch. But guys, this next one is even crazier. But if you haven't subscribed, then what are you doing, okay? Subscribe right now. And if this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll give out any of these spring fruits to you guys, okay? So if you guys want Buddha, we got Buddha, okay? If you guys want dough, we got dough. If you guys want control, we got control. <laughs> you got every single spring fruit ever. So subscribe. I guess for the last minute, all you have to do is go to Zeolus right over here, okay? And do not tell anyone this, okay? This this is between us, all right? This is between us. So all I have to do is go over here, okay? Go ahead and type in the chat slash E, sir, luck, just like that. Enter that in, okay? Make sure you subscribe and now it's world food, okay? World food in the next 10 seconds and you'll get a crazy food, okay? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, no! Block Shoots is a game with a lot of glitches. Some being not that harmful, but some causing the game to break. And in today's video, we'll be trying one of these game-breaking glitches to see if we even get banned from the game. Gosh, I really don't hope I get banned. Like, I'm actually scared, because it's a pretty scary glitch. I should say, do not try this glitch in public servers, because you might actually get banned. So, so just don't use it. Right, I am making my way onto the cafe, and I'm here. Now you guys know, there's a bunch of fruits in Block shoots and i have mastered every single one of them and some fruits behold very secretive glitches but in today's video we're gonna be going over and equipping the one and only spirit fruit and you might think spirit fruit what game breaking glitch does this fruit have well let me explain as most of you guys know this fruit is a different fruit from nanny this is not your usual fruit okay you have a demon side and you have an angel side and you also have spirits as you can see you have blue spirits which are the good spirits and you have red spirits which are the evil spirits that do damage and lock down enemy in place. But we want to focus up today on the blue spirits because these will literally break the game. Now there's no problem with all of the abilities from this fruit. Everything is just pretty normal but the spirits pretty much break the game. Alright guys, basically what you gotta do to do this glitch. Now once again, I I'm telling you, okay? Do not use this on public servers. You might actually get banned. As you can see, these spirits just capped out at 9, okay? That's the maximum spirits you can have. Now there is a way to bypass this. Now basically what you do is you spam spirits, here you go. You spam them on the blue side and as you can see you get these piggies and that's what you want okay these piggies will give you a speed boost all right we got seven spirits again we should spam a bit more there you go and we should spam a bit more there you go there you go there you go spam them up and there you go we got a bunch of piggies now once you have all the blue spirits spawned in you change to any other fruit like dragon whatever and you change back to spirit and now you will still have the effects of the spirit fruit like look i'm, I'm running way faster i don't even have pilot helmet on i'm already running way faster we're literally gonna be breaking the speed barrier in this video. And now, you just gotta wait till your spirits respawn or reload. And then just click, spam, 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 spam them all in. There you go. Okay, we got three piggies. That's not bad. But we wanna have way more than that. Alright, let's start spamming, spamming, spamming. There you go. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of piggies. What the heck? I don't think I've ever gotten that much. Like, what is that? Now we switch. There we go. Switch to another fruit and switch back. And then look at my speed now. Look at my speed. Bro. Bro, it's already getting too fast. But that's not all, because we're gonna be trying to break the game and try to get banned, okay? Do not try this, okay? I don't know why I'm trying this. This is risky. Okay, let's spawn some more in. There you go. One, two, three. Two piggies. And now, change fruit like that. Change back. And now, let's see. Bro, look at that speed. You know what? Let's equip pilot helmet to actually show you how fast I am. Yeah. Look at this. Um, I'm not dashing, by the way. I am not that... What the heck? What if I dash? Bro, what? I'm light speed. I've never been so fast in my life. Like, what? This is insane. Now, there's an actual way to break the game while doing this. So, I'm going to try it. All right, we have more spirits. Let's spam them. Spam them. Spam them. There we go. Spam them. Okay, three biggies. That's pretty good. Okay, let's spam more. Come on. Let's spam all of them. Boom. Switch fruits. Switch fruits. Fast. Back again. Oh, no. I'm too fast. I'm getting weight. Oh, this is bad. Just look how fast I am. Bro. What? Now, as I said, do not try this, okay? You might actually get banned. But this is a private server, and I'm not harming anyone with this, okay? I'm doing this for educational purposes. Because, obviously, this is a bug. Like, bro. Do I do it again? Do I actually do it? Okay, you know what? I'm spamming more in. I'm spawning more in. 
Screw you. I'm spawning more. Uh, we got zero piggies. Um, that's, uh, that's unlucky. Give me piggies so I can go even faster. Come on. Bro, I don't want these stars. I'm pretty sure these stars only heal me, so these are useless. All right, another nine spirits. Hopefully, I don't regret this, okay? Block shoots, if you see this, please don't ban me, okay? Please don't ban me, okay? Let's spawn in. There you go. Oh my god. This is so fat. Oh, okay. We're breaking the game. I'm. Pr oh, what? Let's see. Oh, yes. We're getting teleported back. What is this? Oh. Um, okay, I should probably stop. I'm probably about to get banned. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna try it out. We're literally faster than this sound barrier. What? We're literally getting teleported back. The anti-cheat is triggering. Like, bro. Yeah, this is bad. Now, what if I activate my go ability? Because then I go even faster. You know what? I'm trying it. Screw it. If I get banned, so be it. Let's see. I'm activating it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, what? I can travel with the speed of light. Now imagine you use this in a PvP battle or something. Yeah. It is not fair, okay? So do not use this. It's literally a game-breaking glitch. Now what if I equip the leopard fruit and go in transformation? If you don't know, leopard even makes you faster. Uh, not like that. What is... Oh, this is not fast. Oh, there you go. Oh, I was already scared. All right, so I'm pretty sure the after image assault move, the C move, makes me even faster. So let's do that. And now let's start dashing. Oh my god, bro. Whoa. And now my ability, go ability, trigger. Um, I don't even have mink on, by the way. No, this is insane. Okay, yeah, I'm about to get banned, I feel like. I, I should stop doing this. Okay, okay, but there's one more thing that I need to try out. Buddha transform! You guys are about to see something mad. Something crazy, something you've never seen before. Right, we're in Buddha form, we're super slow. And if we start running, we're kind of fast, okay? For a Buddha, this is fast. Now, let's start dashing. Oh my god, bro, have you ever seen a Buddha like... Oh my, I can even go on water? Who needs fast boats if you can do this? Like, <laughs> I'm fast as boy. No, for you. Sco Island, <laughs> easy job. I'm already here. I don't even need portal fruit. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, this is mad. And wait, what if I start jumping? You guys know how you can build momentum while you're jumping in the air. You can usually do this with Ming V3. But I'm gonna try with the glitch. Let's see. And right, so I start jumping like that. It's not that great, right? I mean, I'm going really fast, but my jumps are already out. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing. Well, that's no problem. Because we can transform in Buddha and... <laughs> is there a problem? I don't think so. This is the most game-breaking thing I've ever seen in block shoots. And what if I told you this was not everything? We have a few more things. For this one, I'm equipping my true triple katana and Buddha. Now we transform into Buddha and we de-transform just like that. So we have the Buddha glitch going on and we're fast. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo! Come here, buddy. You think you're gonna have a chance? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that much damage, but still. Come here, buddy. Dude, this is just not fair, okay? I mean, I'm super fast. Uh, yeah. Why is this in the game block shoots? I don't even know. But this literally breaks the game, okay? If this is not game breaking, then what is? And you're dead. Now, hypothetically, what if you use this in a PvP server? Or just a public server? You just run around slashing people up. Okay, don't, don't do this, okay? Don't do this. I'm not encouraging you to do this, okay? But just think about it for a second, you know? You're Usain Bold, and you're just slashing everybody up. Sounds fun, I'm not gonna lie. But what if I told you there's a another pretty crazy glitch that I need to show you that makes you invincible to lava. You might think, wait, what? If you if you go on lava, you just you just lose all your health instantly. Well, I got a solution for that. While I'm equipping this fruit, guys, go ahead and like the video, okay? And subscribe. Because we're almost at 700k and we're road to 1 mil, okay? So you better subscribe. Now, all we gotta do is transform into leopard and, you know, just, um... Just stand on the lava. And boom, I'm invincible. Yeah, who would have thought? Leopard invincible for lava? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Why? Well, don't ask me, okay? I'm just here to try it out. Now, this is pretty game-breaking. Imagine you fight on lava with leopard. Yeah. That is pretty much the best way to run away from somebody. Somebody's trying to bounty hunt you, you just go on lava. Like, huh? Try me now, huh? Oh, and look at that. A fruit has spawned in the game. Now, usually, it takes you a bit to get there. But with the speed glitch, let's see. How long will it take? I'm pretty sure it's... I know this spawn location. It's right there. Boom, we're already here. Like, nobody's gonna be faster than me. And it's a spin fruit, though, okay? I hate spin fruits. Because they're just so dude, okay? In the ocean you go. Now, there's one more thing. If you go ahead and spawn a boat in block shoots, and equip the almighty love fruit, and then wait for your best of friend ability to reload, use the best of friend ability. Now, who the heck is this guy? I'm not even gonna question, okay? Once you spawn in your flamingo, as you can see, my best of friend is on it, and then once you try taking place in the boat, and if you do this right, you can glitch the boat like this.
this? <laughs> what the? Wait a minute, the factory is breaching. Let me get this free fruit. Do some magma booties like that. Gosh, I can't see anything. And die. Come on. Uh, a smoke fruit? Are you kidding me? What? I don't need a smoke fruit. How have you ever wanted to? Go high in the sky, okay? To the galaxy of block shoots. Oh, well, you can. Let me show you. Now, I tried doing it this way. So, you do this and you jump. Uh, okay, that wasn't it. And you jump. Uh, yeah, that's not it. The first thing you gotta do is equip control fruit. And once you get control fruit activated, get a boat. Control the boat. Make sure the boat is elevating. Then take a spot on the boat, okay? There you go. We got a spot. Aim in the sky and let go. And now... <laughs> yeah, buy block shoots. I'm never coming back. Whoa. Oh, no. I'm. Wait, this is actually going far. Wait. Um. Wait, I didn't mean to do this. Uh. Wait, I can't even see the block Wait. Where's the second C? Uh, in the sky we are, I guess. I can't even see the land anymore. Uh, here we are in the sky. What if I jump? Uh, my boat disappeared. And now we're just falling down. Come on, can I land on a bridge? Please, can I land on a bridge? Can I land on a bridge? I can. Wait, can I? Come on, come on. Oh, uh, wait, there's anti-cheat holding me back. <laughs> what? Okay, this is insane. And so there's many more block shoots glitches. 5,000 likes for part two. There are a total of eight mythical fruits and block shoots. Some being questionable and some being really overpowered. And in today's video, we're going to be testing block shoots hacks that might get you these fruits for free. Will they work? To be honest, I don't know. But today we're here to test that out. And if this video hits 3,000 likes, I'll give away four mythical fruits myself. But now let's get on to these glitches to see if they work or not. Now, luckily, I actually didn't waste my fruit roll, so let's go and get on with the first glitch. Or hack. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the first glitch says C1 slash E mythical fruit 100% leopard. Okay, so let's see. What does he do? So I guess he types in the chat slash E mythical fruit. That's what I'm guessing. All right, there you go. He types it slash E mythical fruit and then he rolls for a fruit, I think. Yeah, there you go. It's 20 million. Oh my god, okay. And he rolls and I, we don't even see it. Wait. Okay. No. Wait. Okay, leopard. Okay. So he got a leopard, okay, that, so, oh my, that, he, did, he didn't got any other fruit in his inventory, so, dang, he actually got leopard, look at that. Okay, okay, let's go and try it out. It does say C1, so I guess I have to go to C1. I guess we go to C1 then. All right, we go over to this guy, take me to C2. All right, now we go to the C2 captain to take us to C1. All right, C1 jungle, and let's go to Zeolus. All we have to type is slash E mythical fruit, okay. All right, so it's slash E mythical fruit, okay, let's go and type that in. There you go, and now we roll fruits. Oh my god, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe I have to redo it. Oh, no. You know what, let's redo it okay slash e mythical fruit okay and now we were supposed to get a leopard fruit okay this is a hundred percent leopard fruit okay so let's go and buy it and get a chop fruit <laughs> hello uh is this glitch now working or something okay this get this myth is busted okay <laughs> what i did not get a leopard and i don't even think i can store this yeah we can store this let's go and throw this in the sea so all the sharks can eat it okay all you guys shark users here there's a fruit for you guys and let's go on the second one okay, here we got a hundred percent doe fruit i guess it says here i don't know he's holding a doe fruit so i'm guessing it's a doe fruit okay he's also typing slash e mythical wait, wait you guys see how he types it he, he doesn't type mythical oh maybe i have to type it like that okay so mythic i a l fruit okay i guess i typed it wrong now pay attention to his inventory because look it actually pops up. Look, 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 He's rolling a fruit. Okay. He typed it in the chat. And now... And it literally pops up. How? And then he literally grabs it. Bro, that's literally a doe fruit. How? There is a, actually no way. He got a doe fruit. And look at his inventory. Look, look. So he goes... Look, he got a leopard from the last glitch. Bro, how does this guy just spawn in fruit straight up? I guess I didn't type it right, so let's try that again. Because I really want this free dough fruit. What if it actually works? And as you can see, we have the bacon drip on, and we're gonna test this glitch right now. So it does say mythical y'all fruit, okay? Mythical y'all. So we're gonna go right over here, and this is exactly what he types. Slash e mythical fruit, okay? So let's go and do that. There we go, mythical y'all fruit. And now roll the fruit, okay? And now we're supposed to get a dough fruit for free. So do you wanna buy a fruit? Okay, yes. Come on. Does it work? Bro, that's a revive that- Okay, this myth is busted, okay? This glitch is definitely not real, all right? We get a revive fruit, okay? That's definitely not a mythical fruit. You know what? This one is also going to the seas. Bye, bye. Uh, it's a revive fruit, so what if it revives itself? Uh, I hope not. On to the next one. This is how to get good fruits every roll. Okay, let's see it, bro. Shark V4, okay? This seems to be pretty good so far, so let's give it a try, okay? Hockey three times, so we need to enable hockey three times, okay? This guy says... Three times enable hockey. What, what then? Roll a fruit and then you gotta... Wait. Run around in a circle three times? Wait, what? What happened? Okay, run around in a circle three times. Okay, that's very specific. Three times. Then we have to type in the chat slash e lock. 
All right, like that. And there you go. He got a venom fruit over there, but he doesn't show that he rolls it. So this one is really sauce. Yeah, guys, I think this one is very sauce. But guys, I'm here to try it. So we need to enable hockey three times. So one, all right, that's two and three. So three laps right here. One, two, three. There you go. And now type in the chat, slash E lock. There you go. And now supposedly we're going to get a mythical fruits. All right, let's go and buy one and let's see if this actually works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got, we got, we definitely got the best mythical in the game. <laughs> I can tell you, uh, yeah, that's, that's a mythical. No, that's a kilo fruit, guys. This is your worst nightmare. This will be under your pillow if you do not like this video. So you better start liking. Guys, none of them worked so far. And as I said, if none of them are gonna work, I'm gonna give out four mythical fruits in this video. So let's see if this next one is gonna work. Guys, for this trick, even the dev stole them a secret legendary rolling trick. All right, let's go and check it out. Okay, so our legendary rolling trick from the developers. Uh, okay, go to the shop and open a gift fruit menu. Okay. Okay, so you open the shop in the gift menu. Okay, you open it. This is new, by the way. This is new. So, okay, this might, okay. so store in inventory, then roll a fruit when the buy menu pops up. Okay, this is very weird. Okay, so he puts up the like Robux thing and then he rolls a fruit. Look, he rolls a fruit over there. That's a kilo. The fruit you roll is always the opposite of what you gift. Reverse fruit for better. It does make sense. He did leopard and he got kilo. So if you do kilo, you get leopard. Wait a minute. Okay, so if I understand correctly, we click once, okay? And then this thing pops up and we click on shop. Okay, there you go. We click on shop. We go over here. Everything we pick is the opposite. So if we pick kilo, we get leopard. All the way on the other side. Look, leopard. If we want dragon, we pick spin over here. Now, what fruit do I want? I want myself a venom fruit, okay? So that's one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I gotta gift myself bomb. So gift, there you go. So as you can see, we got the buy Robux and then we click on all right right here and then we roll the fruit, okay? We roll the fruit right here, buy, and now we get venom fruit, okay? So yeah, I already rolled the fruit, guys, and the fruit is dark fruits. Yes, this is not a venom. And this is not even the opposite. So this one is also busted. Like what? I didn't even get my opposite fruit. What is this? This video did definitely not work. And if these next ones don't work, I have to give out four mythical fruits. As here's how to get here's Loja fruit get every time. Or legendary from Blocks Fruit Dealer's cousin every time. First every time. Okay. First you have to bag him and make sure you're really convincing. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Better give me good fruit. Then you have to attack him for extra measure or else he won't listen. Oh, okay. So we're getting aggressive here. Okay. Uh, finally purchase you fruits. He will be able to force you something worth your time. And he got magma wait magma is not bad but it's not a mythical or legendary i guess this video wasn't mythical I, I i guess it was legendary but he didn't even get a legendary that is weird now let's see if this even works okay so first we have to beg him please please give me a good fruit please please zeolus i beg you zeolus oh i can't even type zeolus what why can't i type the developer's name you know what indra indra please please give me a fruit and now for the extra measure come here buddy you're going to die oh okay well uh uh, okay, he defeated me, guys. I give up. I give up. I give up. Um, uh, no, 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 no. I'm in the roof. Uh, okay, guys, this is not going as planned. Uh, yeah, let's reset, guys. Uh, okay, maybe he's too strong for me. Okay, let's roll for fruit. Let's see if we're gonna get the legendary or mythical or anything. And we got the chop fruit. Okay, I guess we got defeated, guys. We got defeated, so he's not gonna give us a good fruit. But if you defeat him, you can get a good fruit, I think. But he was just simply stronger. And while I was doing these glitches, a fruit has spawned. So let's see what this is. I'm not usually in C1, so maybe this is gonna be like a venom dragon or leopard i believe where is wait where is this seven meters away is this somewhere like over here oh no i can't get any legendary mythicals with glitches and even get good fruits in the game and normally oh my i'm getting this in the i hate smoke fruit bye bye because i get it so much i don't want it there's one more method i heard of that 100 works no guys i'm not joking when i'm saying this this method works every single time but there's only one requirement so you walk up to the blocks with gacha and all you have to do is go and type in a chat and you have to type slash sir lock. There you go. Slash e sir lock. And the only requirement is that you have to be subscribed. Okay. And everybody says it works. So we're going to roll right now and let's see if it works. Yo, yo, it works. It works. Dang. Yo, it actually works. Yo. 
no way, guys. This method is the best method. We're gonna be busting over 10 mids in Blocks Roots and gonna see how crazy mids we can actually find. From getting legendary fruits to unlocking secret doors, so let's get started. So apparently for the first mid, we need to go to Hot and Cold Island, which is army over here. Should lab over here. Okay, there you go. Ooh, don't die, don't die. Hold on. Wait, can I lab? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I can walk, I can walk. And if you play Blocks Roots, you obviously know that here is the place where you start a raid. We should do this puzzle thing over here, red, blue, green, blue, and then you go to over here. Go up the ladder over here. Actually, I don't want to go up the ladder. You go to Portal Fruit, and here you guys can see the lab. But did you guys know that there's a secret lab in this island? Yes, an actual lab that grants you access to a secret boss in Blocks Roots. All right, for this, you need to go over here, and we follow me exactly. You can see that gigantic rock over there. We need to go climb on that rock, okay? And if you have Portal, it's gonna be pretty easy, okay? Like that. And you might think, where's the where's the secret lab? I don't see anything. Well, supposedly, there's actually an entry. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Let's go. Okay, let's go. And as you can see, it's true. This myth is confirmed. As you can see, there's a hidden lab in the rock in the island over here. We can start a secret raid for the hidden boss in Blocks Roots. Alright, for the next mid, you can apparently walk over lava without taking any damage. But you have to activate your V3 ability. So every single V3 ability, just activate your ability like this. Okay, there you go. And now we should be... Yo, 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 this is not... The... Yo, I'm still taking damage. This myth is definitely not true. Okay, this one is false. Alright, for the next mid, apparently we can find the Rip Indra in Blocks Roots. No, not the boss battle in the first scene. No, we can actually find the NPC Rip Indra. For this, we actually have to go to the graveyard over here. And in the graveyard, we can actually find Rip Indra right over in this island. Oh, wait a minute, where was this again? Hold on. Rip Indra should be somewhere. Rip Indra, I know I'm looking for you. Where is this guy? This guy's hiding. Yo, Rip Indra, I know you're here. I know. Wait. Wait, I see you. I see you. Rip Indra, right here. And as you guys can see, we have Rip Indra. And if you try to talk to him, he says, I'm busy. So if it confirmed, we can find Rip Indra in the second sea. All right, for the next myth. All right, we actually have to go back to Dog 3 over here because. Oh no, not Dog 3. No. We have to go to Dog 4 over here. There you go. And now we're in the hot and cold island because supposedly there's actually a hidden diamond chest all the way up on this building which i don't believe uh but yeah let's go and check it i was gonna get up here there you go should be pretty easy and yo no way so there is actually a blue diamond chest and it gave me 6300 which isn't even bad okay since we're already here there's another myth going around that there is actually a hidden room in that building over there now we have to actually put that to the test. Let's go and check it out right here. Let's go and go over here. Now I don't see a hidden room, okay? Is this a hidden room or something? Like, like over here? Oh, yo, 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 wait, there's a door over here. Yo, what is over here? Oh, wait. Wait, who's this guy? Wait, here to make your bargain, I see. Make yourself. Wait, what is this? Want to buy a microchip for 1,000 fragments? Oh, never mind, bro. 1,000 is expensive. Yo, I'm getting out of here. That myth is true. There's actually a hidden room over here. Alright, for the next myth, you can roll a mythical fruit every single time you roll in the blocks you catch over here. As the oldest, you can get a mythical fruit every single time. To do this, you need to go in your inventory and grab the fruit you want to roll. So I want to roll dough fruit right now. Let me unsort that. Okay, you need to unsort. You need to get it in your hand. You need to show it to the blocks you got you like that. Okay, just show it in his face, and then you gotta sort it again. Once you sort it and roll fruit, you actually get the fruit. So let's go and see if this is true. And we got a spike fruit. So that is that is not true. I wish it was true though. All right, for the next myth, apparently over here there's a room with a lot of chests in them. All right, a lot of golden chests. Let's see where's the room. Apparently it's somewhere over here. I think it's this one over here. Here, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. And there is three golden chests over here. Let's see how much that will give me. 2,000, 2,000, 3,000. That's like 10,000. Not bad for one room. And this myth is true. All right, for the next myth, we can use the awakening tool from gold to blind NPCs. I don't know if this is true. I've never tried it before. So let's go and try it. If you guys don't know, gold V4 is actually used for players. So you can only blind players. I don't know if it works on NPCs. I'm going to try it out. Because if you can blind bosses, that would be super overpowered. But first, I need to get this bar all the way to my axe. All right, there you go. We're done. We're done. Let's awaken 3, 2, 1. Oh, no, no, almost, almost. Come on, come on. Let's hit and awaken. Let's go. And now we're going for And now apparently this black circle around me can blind enemies. And let's see if it works. So apparently if we hit an enemy right here and he shouldn't see me. What? Yo, he shouldn't see me. Oh, this is not true. He should not attack me, bro. He should not be able to see me and attack me, man. Oh my god, this doesn't work. All right, so this V4 myth is not true because these enemies can see me. Look, look, they can see me. Yeah, they can just attack me, bro. Imagine if this was real. I could be literally just beating anyone up, like any boss. Bro, that would be so crazy. All right, so for this next myth, we need to go to Hydra Island because supposedly Hydra Island, we got a new secret room. All right, so we gotta go right over here to the waterfall. And once we go down over here, you guys know the secret room. Right over here should be a secret room right over here. Everybody knows this room we don't actually go here you actually go over here you want to go over to this edge right over here and then you want to climb 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 and then oh my god wait wait oh my god what is this 
Wait a minute, this is actually true. Whoa, where are we? What the heck? What is this place? Yo, wait, is that a tree? Is that a boss spawn? Hold on, I might know what that is. Beautiful pirate domain. Wait a minute, this is where the boss is. Wait, can we glitch in somehow? Come on, come on. You, I know you can. Yo, I see the inside. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, flash step, come on. Oh my god, yo, yo. No way! I actually got in the boss spawn without even going through the normal door, which is right over here. Which, if you guys don't know, this is on the center of Turtle Island. That was crazy. Now, for the next myth, this myth involves Mirage Island. So, if you guys want to find Mirage Island fast, this is a trick for you. And what you have to do is grab a boat. And with that boat, you want to go right over here. Next to this Turtle Island and next to the, like, uh, Sea of Treats. Oh my god, already a sea event. No way. That already could have been Mirage Island. Oh my god. The dodge is cannons. Yo, yo, don't attack me. Alright, so once you're kind of in the middle of the Sea of Treats and a floating turtle, you want to go right over here. You want to stand on the front of your ship look forward and use your feed three ability right now okay there you go i used it and then after five minutes supposedly mirage island will spawn of course you gotta go back in the seat and now wait yo it's mirage island wait no way this works oh it's right over there i guess this myth worked what the heck all right so for the next myth apparently there's one fighting style that has no knockback which means you're gonna be able to afk farm enemies without getting yourself out of the play and apparently it's gonna be this one over here they drug the shark man okay yes i want to do it Yes, I wanna- Oh, you already know it. Oh, I already know this one. Now, apparently, if we go to some NPCs over here, and switch to, like, Buddha or something, should stay in one place while hitting enemies. Let's see if this is true, and this is true. I'm literally in one place. Oh my god, wait, I'm, I'm still hitting, and I'm still in one place. This is insanely good for AFK farming. Now, let's try with a different fighting style. Okay, I got Dragon Breath equipped, and now, apparently, if we go ahead and- Oh my god, wait, it moves me out of my position. So, indeed, that myth is true. That is so good for AFK farming, though. Alright, for the next Smith. Apparently, Gofi 3 reduces 40% time of ability. So let's go and do that. Let's use warp. And whoa, we can already use it, even though it wasn't fully reloaded. Oh my god. So this myth is also true. So we can literally teleport anywhere and then teleport 40% early. Oh, great. A fruit spawn. I'm pretty sure it's at Port Town. No, it's not. Hey, where is this fruit? Is it at Hydra? It has to. Okay, so we're gonna use the trick and it's not reloaded and we can literally teleport anywhere. Wait, 400 meters? It should be at Hydra, no? Where is this thing? Wait, 40 meters? It should be literally right above here come on what is it what is it and it's a revive fruit i don't even want this so you go back in the sea <laughs> bye bye all right for the next myth we're gonna go over to hydra town because in hydra town there is a saucy house yeah a house that is literally non-existent let's see can i walk into this one no let me get that chest is it this one maybe can i yo what Yo, this, this, this house is fake. I can just literally walk through it. Like, what? Yo, what? This is the first ever house that we can walk in and there's literally nothing inside. Like, at least put something inside. Like, what even is this? Wait, does that mean that we can walk into any house or... Wait, no, that doesn't work. Wait, maybe in this one right here? Uh, that doesn't work as well. Is there anything inside? Ooh, what is this? Can we go in? Uh, we can't. Maybe in this one then? Uh, I know which one it is. It's this one. <gasps> Wait, this one as well? What? Wait a minute, so there's two houses that are really saucy, okay. I did not know that. Comment down below if you knew that. Alright, so for the next myth. Alright, so apparently whenever you're using portal, you cannot change your fruits. Like if you do ability like Dimensional Rift, and we're in the rift, now I should not be able to change my fruits. Now let's go and try it out, okay? Let's go open, let's change to Buddha real quick. Um... Oh, wait, I can't. I literally got teleported out. So this myth is true. I did not know that. Now, apparently, for this next myth, if you go over in this house, as you guys know, the Deathkin, this guy rolls a hollow essence if you're really lucky. Now, first, what you need to do is kill this exact skeleton, and then you will get a hollow essence every single time. So let's go and go kill him right now, all right? Come here, skeleton. You make no chance. Die. And now we supposedly get our hollow essence every single time. So, come on, you have to give it me. Okay, money. That is not a hollow essence. Let's see, come on. This time, maybe? Yo, what? Bro, 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 what? There is actually no way. Second try, we got a hollow essence. Uh, so this mid is true. Hey, what if I can get another one? No way. Imagine two hollow essences in my inventory. Come on. I've never had this happen to me. Some fragments. Come on. And no, we didn't get it. Oh, maybe because this guy respawned. Hey, screw you. Bro, why did you respawn? You messed up my luck. Ah, at least we got a hollow essence. Now the next myth is that you do not have to grab your hollow essence to actually summon the boss. Well, let's go and try now i don't have it in my hands let's see come on i don't have it i don't have it in my hands and it's not summoning for oh it did summon i didn't grab it so this myth is true uh, i guess i'll have to beat him anyway but that's for a next myth because as you guys know the graveyard which i just was at you can pray at the graveyard now there is a myth if you defeat the soul reaper you actually gotta go pray at the graveyard and you'll get a hollow essence 
and a god chalice, which is one of the rarest things you can get from praying at the graveyard. Well, let's contest this mid out. So, hey, come here, Soul Reaper. You're about to die. Come here, buddy. You stand no chance. All right, there he should be almost dead. Come on, die. Bro, he literally has one HP. Oh, there you go. Now you have to go back and go pray. All right, come on. I awakened especially for this. Come on, please. Please. Yo. Yo. No way. We got a god's chalice and hollow side. There is no actual way. Yo, we got an insane lock. The devil's lock. I guess this move is true. Like and subscribe if you want to be this lucky. All right, I am making my way onto the cafe and I'm here. Now you guys know there's a bunch of fruits and block shoots and I have mastered every single one of them. And some fruits behold very secretive glitches. But in today's video, we're going to be going over and equipping the one and only spirit fruit. And you might think spirit fruit, what game breaking glitch does this fruit have? Well, let me explain. As most of you guys know, this fruit is a different fruit from Nanny. This is not your usual fruit, okay? You have a demon side and you have an angel side. And you also have spirits. As you can see, you have blue spirits, which are the good spirits. And you have red spirits, which are the evil spirits that do damage and lock the enemy in place. But we want to focus up today on the blue spirits because these will literally break the game. Now, there's no problem with all of the abilities from this fruit. Everything is just pretty normal, but the spirits pretty much break the game. Alright, guys, basically what you gotta do to do this glitch. Now, once again, I I'm telling you, okay, do not use this on public servers. You might actually get banned. As you can see, the spirits just capped out at 9, okay? That's the maximum spirits you can have. Now, there is a way to bypass this. Now, basically, what you do is you spam spirits, here you go. You spam them on the blue side, and as you can see, you get these piggies, and that's what you want, okay? These piggies will give you a speed boost. Alright, we got 7 spirits again. We should spam a bit more. There you go. And we should spam a bit more. There you go, there you go, there you go. Spam them up, and there you go. We got a bunch of piggies. Now, once you have all the blue spirits spawned in, you change to any other fruit, like dragon, whatever, and you change back to spirit and now you will still have the effects of the spirit fruit like look I'm, I'm running way faster i don't even have pilot helmet on i'm already running way faster we're literally gonna be breaking the speed barrier in this video and now you just gotta wait till your spirits respawn or reload and then just click spam 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 all in there you go okay we got three piggies that's not bad but we want to have way more than that all right let's start spamming 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 there you go let's see oh there's a lot of piggies what the heck i don't think i've ever gotten that much like what is that now we switch, here we go, switch to another fruit and switch back, and then look at my speed now. Look at my speed, bro, bro, it's already getting too fast. But that's not all, because we're gonna be trying to break the game and try to get banned, okay? Do not try this, okay? I don't know why I'm trying this, this is risky. Okay, let's spawn some more in, there you go, one, two, three, two piggies, and now change fruit like that, change back, and now let's see. Bro, look at that speed. You know what, let's equip pilot helmet to actually show you how fast I am, yeah. Look at this. Um, I'm not dashing, by the way. I am not that. What the heck? What if I dash? What? I'm light speed. I've never been so fast in my life. Like, what? This is insane. Now, there's an actual way to break the game while doing this. So, I'm going to try it. All right, we have more spirits. Let's spam them. Spam them. Spam them. There we go. Spam them. Okay, three biggies. That's pretty good. Okay, let's spam more. Come on. Let's spam all of them. Boom. Switch fruits. Switch fruits. Fast. Back again. Oh, no. I'm too fast. I'm getting weight. Oh, this is bad. Just look how fast I am. Bro. What? Now, as I said, do not try this, okay? You might actually get banned, but this is a private server, and I'm not harming anyone with this, okay? I'm doing this for educational purposes, because obviously, this is a bug. Like, bro. Do I do it again? Do I actually do it? Okay, you know what? I'm spawning more in. I'm spawning more in. Screw you. I'm spawning more. Uh, we got zero piggies. Um, that's, uh, that's unlucky. Give me piggies so I can go even faster. Come on. Bro, I don't want these stars. I'm pretty sure these stars only heal me, so these are useless. All right, another nine spirits. Hopefully, I don't regret this, okay? Block Shroots, if you see this, please don't ban me, okay? Please don't ban me, okay? Let's spawn in. There you go. Oh my god. This is so fat. Oh, okay. We're breaking the game. I'm. Oh, what? Let's see. Oh, yes. We're getting teleported back. What is this? Oh. Um, okay, I should probably stop. I'm probably about to get banned. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna try it out. We're literally faster than this sound barrier. What? We're literally getting teleported back. The anti-cheat is triggering. Like, bro. Yeah, this is bad. Now, what if I activate my go ability? Because then I go even faster. You know what? I'm trying it. Screw it. If I get banned, so be it. Let's see. I'm activating it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, what? I can travel with the speed of light. Now, imagine you use this in a PvP battle or something. Yeah. It is not fair, okay? So, do not use this. It's literally a game-breaking glitch. Now, what if I equip the Leopard Fruit and go in transformation? If you don't know, Leopard even makes you faster. Uh, not like that. What is... Uh, this is not fast. Oh, there you go. Oh, I was already scared. All right, so I'm pretty sure the after image assault move, the C move, makes me even faster. So let's do that. And now let's start dashing. Oh my god. Bro. Whoa. 
And now my ability, go ability, trigger. Um, I don't even have mink on, by the way. No, this is insane. Okay, yeah, I'm about to get banned, I feel like. I, I should stop doing this. Okay, okay, but there's one more thing that I need to try out. Buddha transform! You guys are about to see something mad. Something crazy, something you've never seen before. Right, we're in Buddha form, we're super slow. And if we start running, we're kind of fast, okay? For a Buddha, this is fast. Now, let's start dashing. Oh my god, bro, have you ever seen a Buddha like... Oh my, I can't even go on water? Who needs fast boats if you can do this? Like, <laughs> I'm fast as boy. No, for you. Sco Island, <laughs> easy job. I'm already here. I don't even need portal fruit. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, this is mad. And wait, what if I start jumping? You guys know how you can build momentum while you're jumping in the air. You can usually do this with Ming V3. But I'm gonna try with the glitch. Let's see. Right, so I start jumping like that. It's not that great, right? I mean, I'm going really fast, but my jumps are already out. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing. Well, that's no problem. Because we can transform in Buddha and... <laughs> is there a problem? I don't think so. This is the most game-breaking thing I've ever seen in block shoots. And what if I told you this was not everything? We have a few more things. For this one, I'm equipping my true triple katana and Buddha. Now we transform into Buddha and we de-transform just like that. So we have the Buddha glitch going on and we're fast. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo! Come here, buddy. You think you're gonna have a chance? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that much damage, but still. Come here, buddy. Dude, this is just not fair, okay? I mean, I'm super fast. Uh, yeah. Why is this in the game block shoots? I don't even know. But this literally breaks the game, okay? If this is not game breaking, then what is? And you're dead. Now, hypothetically, what if you use this in a PvP server? Or just a public server? You just run around slashing people up. Okay, don't, don't do this, okay? Don't do this. I'm not encouraging you to do this, okay? But just think about it for a second, you know? You're you saying bold, and you're just slashing everybody up. Sounds fun, I'm not gonna lie. But what if I told you there's an another pretty crazy glitch that I need to show you that makes you invincible to lava. You might think, wait, what? If you if you go on lava, you just you just lose all your health instantly. Well, I got a solution for that. While I'm equipping this fruit, guys, go ahead and like the video, okay? And subscribe. Because we're almost at 700k and we're road to 1 mil, okay? So you better subscribe. Now, all we gotta do is transform into leopard and, you know, just, um... Just stand on the lava. And boom, I'm invincible. Yeah, who would have thought? Leopard invincible for lava? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Why? Well, don't ask me, okay? I'm just here to try it out. Now, this is pretty game-breaking. Imagine you fight on lava with leopard. Yeah. That is pretty much the best way to run away from somebody. Somebody's trying to bounty hunt you, you just go on lava. Like, huh? Try me now, huh? Oh, and look at that. A fruit has spawned in the game. Now, usually, it takes you a bit to get there. But with the speed glitch, let's see. How long will it take? I'm pretty sure it's... I know this spawn location. It's right there. Boom. We're already here. Like, nobody's gonna be faster than me. And it's a spin fruit, though. Okay, I hate spin fruits. Because they're just so dude, okay? In the ocean, you go. Now, there's one more thing. If you go ahead and spawn a boat in block shoots and equip the almighty love fruit and then wait for your best of friend ability to reload, use the best of friend ability. Now, who the heck is this? guy. I'm not even gonna question, okay? Once you spawn in your flamingo, as you can see, my best friend is on it, and then once you try taking place in the boat, and if you do this right, you can glitch the boat like this. <laughs> what the? Wait a minute, the factory is breaching. Let me get this free fruit. Do some magma booties like that. Gosh, I can't see anything. And die. Come on. Uh, a smoke fruit? Are you kidding me? What? I don't need a smoke fruit. How have you ever wanted to? Go high in the sky, okay? To the galaxy of block shoots. Oh, well, you can. Let me show you. Now, I tried doing it this way. So, you do this, and you jump. Uh, okay, that wasn't it. And you jump. Uh, yeah, that's not it. The first thing you gotta do is equip control fruit. And once you get control fruit activated, get a boat. Control the boat. Make sure the boat is elevating, then take a spot on the boat, okay? There you go. We got a spot. Aim in the sky and let go. And now... Whoa, yeah, buy block shoots. I'm never coming back. Whoa, oh, no. I'm. Wait, this is actually going far. Wait. Um. Wait, I didn't mean to do this. Uh, wait, I can't even see the block... Wait. Where's the second C? Uh, in the sky we are, I guess. I can't even see the land anymore. Uh, here we are in the sky. What if I jump? Uh, my boat disappeared. And now we're just falling down. Come on, can I land on the bridge? Please, can I land on the bridge? Can I land on the bridge? I can. Wait, can I? Come on, come on. Oh, wait, there's anti-cheat holding me back? <laughs> what? Okay, this is insane. And so there's many more block shoots glitches. Every single day, I try to become better in block shoots. So whatever I'm doing, I'm rolling fruits, I'm finding fruits, I still feel like I'm progressing slowly. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over TikTok glitches and secrets in block shoots that you probably didn't know and see if they can give me a huge advantage within the game. Also, if this video is 3,000 likes, I'm gonna give out three permanent dream fruits to three lucky subscribers. But the likes 
things have to be achieved within 24 hours. So hit that like button and let's get into the video. Enjoy. Okay, I want to expose these glitches and see if they're if they're actually true, okay? Because I saw some insane glitches. Like, like bro, bro, some glitches, they actually show, like, how to get infinite glitch, like, infinite XP glitch, stuff like that. Like, money glitches, bro. I have to try these out. Like, not even that. I saw, like, videos that even can duplicate your fruits, okay? Like, like even perm fruits or something, like, they, they cannot, like, get a way to duplicate or something. Yeah, it seems like nonsense, but yeah, these videos were, like, actually real. Like, they put it together. So, let's go and check it out and let's see if we can expose some of these. Okay, so apparently we got the saddest box fruit glitch of all times, okay? Okay, we see this person holding a dragon fruit and apparently he just got it, like, in the first C and he can't store it, okay? Look at this. Storage fell. What? Bro, I would be so mad if my storage fell. No way. And look, look, look. Apparently, if he eats the fruit, look at this, look at this, look at this. He eats the fruit. He eats it. Look at this. He has soul right now. He eats the fruit and he doesn't even get it. Like, bro, this has to be the saddest moments for him. Like, what is that? That would be so bad. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna test this, though, because I, I'm not gonna find a dragon fruit or, like, any leopard or, bro, it's gonna be literally impossible to find one, but we're gonna go ahead and check if we can actually roll for one. It's like, how else am I gonna get one, okay? So, like, I, I guess I can, like, uh, be, a, like, uh, unstore one right here. Like, I, I can get one right here, but, like, I, I think I can just store it, right? Like, uh, yeah, yeah there you go. Fruit store. And so, how, how about, like, if I just go over here and then Go to the Bloxu Gacha and let's see. Okay, okay, we gotta go Zeolos. Okay, there you go. We gotta like roll for fruit and if we get a good one, then apparently we can we can store it. So let's go and check it out. Okay, random fruit up there. You go buy and okay. Oh, oh bro, God, bro. bro, what is this? Oh, okay, let's see. Um, it's a bomb fruit. So store. Okay, and storage failed. What? No, oh, no, wait, wait. It's storage failed. Wait, this is actually real. What the heck? Okay, so apparently if we eat it, then it's not gonna redeem. Okay, so let's eat it. Okay, and now it should not redeem. Okay, we have love right now and let's see and. Wait, it did activate. What? Wait, what? No way it activated, bro. What? I got this doo-doo bomb fruit. I never got bomb blow. What is this? Oh, oh, whoa. Wait, what? I guess I got bomb now, bro. Wait, let's, let's try one more time. Wait, wait. Oh, it's like a it's like a range. It's pretty quick, actually. It was the saddest glitch though. Like I can't even store the fruits. Okay, so for the next one, as you can see, bro, duplication glitch over here, bro. What is this guy even talking about? What was the thumbnail? Dark blade? Like what? Yo, we gotta check this out. Okay, so we got we got a duplication glitch over here. Let's see. Okay, so I don't believe this for a minute, but okay, let's go and check it out. Okay, so we got Duke, okay, you got Duke, Curse Katana, you got all these things, like, Soul Guitar, okay, this guy seems pretty good, actually, okay, so he goes to Col wait, Coloss, wait, Colosseum, or whatever that's called, okay, we goes to this location over here, we're on first C, so where, where is first C, okay, so we're going over here, he goes over to the chest or something, he, he goes grabs the chest, okay, you need to grab the chest, okay, and then, and then he goes over here, and what he literally does, he, he goes to this corner over here, he, he keeps dashing in this corner, wait, what is he doing, wait, what, Oh, look at his energy. He's just regening and... Oh, and he's doing this for, like, a good solid minutes. Okay, so, like, a minute or two. Okay, he's solid dash over here. And apparently, if he goes to his inventory back and then... Oh, what's going on, bro? Like, what, what, what is happening? Yo, he got a free portal fruit? What? Wait, what? Look at that. He got a portal fruit. What? Bro, there's no way this is real. There's no way. Like, he didn't even do anything with a portal fruit. How did he, like, get it in his inventory? He must have, like, unequipped it or something. Like, there, there's no way that works. We already know we have to bust this myth. So, I mean, I, I guess we'll have to try. Okay, let's see where it's Colosseum, actually. Okay, I'm okay, Colosseum is that way, so we're gonna go over to Colosseum first. And, bro, if this actually gives me a free fruit, I'll, I'll just give it away. Okay, so we literally went over here, and then he went over in the air over here, I think. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Okay, so he's going over here, and then he went pretty much straight here. He went to this chest. He grabs his chest over here, and then he grabs... Uh, he goes over here, he goes over here, and then he goes to this corner. And then he just keeps dashing in. Just literally for a minute straight, he keeps dashing, keeps dashing. Like, I don't know how long he's gonna die. I'm pretty sure this is the right corner. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the right corner over here. He just keeps dashing for a solid minute, so let's go and keep get dashing for a minute and let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, I've been dashing for this corner for a solid minute, okay? It's, it's, it, nothing happens, okay? And now, I guess in our inventory, just go right here and I should get a fruit or something. I don't, I, I, bro, this is definitely busted, bro. This is, there's no fruit in my inventory that's new. Okay, guys, don't try it. This, this literally wastes your time, okay? I, I tried it for you guys, but bro, do not try this. This does not work. Okay, this guy literally says, glitch with god human, do not use next to admins, okay? This has to be something good, okay? Let's see, okay? This guy has a god human, okay? So he's about to do a glitch so apparently if he like goes to this chair right here yeah, yeah, goes to this chair and he apparently just jumps and uh, bro okay you, you just got stuck or something and then like with the ability right okay so he gets stuck and then wait what 
He just keeps flying. What the? Wait, what? Is that like fly glitch or something? What the heck? He could just keep staying there. Dude, that's sick. I gotta try this. Okay, yeah, so I just got on this brand new account, okay? Don't ask me what this account is, okay? I, I, I know it's like a, some monkey account or something. I don't, bro. I don't even know what this account is. Just don't even ask me, okay? Don't even ask me, okay? So we gotta apparently go to a chair, bro. I don't I don't even know where a chair is. Okay, so apparently somewhere here should be the cafe. Okay, there we go. There. I, I didn't forget it, okay? After 30 days not playing, I still know it, okay? I, I still know the roots, okay? Let's go over here, okay? We got a chair, okay? We got superhuman, okay? So apparently it's, it's just the same ability, okay? So Z is pretty much the same ability, right? Uh, as God human. So let's go over here and uh, sh we should go like do this chair. I, I, okay, I, I guess we gotta like wait a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we should jump and then use the ability, right? So we go uh, set in a chair right here. Okay, there we go. And then jump and then use the ability. Uh, okay, I guess I did it wrong. We, uh, okay, let's try again. So we jump, we jump over here, we do that, and uh, okay. That, that did not work, okay? That didn't work. I, I'm pretty sure we have to, like, lock in back in the chair. So, I, I guess we gotta, like, uh, do that. All right, let's, let's do that. Let's jump again. Hold on. Uh, maybe once again. There you go. Bro, bro, this does not work. How is this possible? What What am I doing wrong? Okay, let, let's, let's try one more time. Okay, let, let's jump. Okay, we should just, like, lock in the chair or something. Oh, wait. Did it work? Wait. No, it didn't. What? Okay, let's try again, but let's, let's just do that built in the chair. Okay, let's do that. And, oh, oh, oh wait. Wait, it did it Wait, what? It did work for a second. Why didn't it, like, glitch out? Also, jump and then ability in the chat. Oh, wait. It's... Okay, I think it's... It got patched. I, it surely has got patched. I think it's got patched because, like, look, I, it, it does it for like a second. Oh, oh, wait. Maybe it's possible only with God Human, but Superhuman is pretty much the same ability. So we jump, we do this, and then we do it in the chair. And uh, yeah, look at that. It goes back in the chair. I'm pretty sure it got patched. It's like in the chair, we can't use the ability. Look at it. We, we need to jump, and then, yeah, it, it doesn't work. So this TikTok glitch is definitely fake, okay? Don't don't use Don't try to use it because it's, bro, it, it's literally not working. I also found this one right here, which gives you apparently infinite. Look at this 645 million. XP and look at this guy. Okay, so he says that someone in chat actually got it right here. I think glitch. Okay, there we go. He, they told him and then they told him to go to Hydra Island to talk to Amazon Area 2 Quest Giver. Hey, once you did it, you gotta choose for a giant islander. Okay, giant island. There we go. Uh, below female island. Okay, a giant islander. And then. Bro, what? It was 645 million XP reward? Bro, literally the simplest quest ever. Okay, bro, bro, what? Oh, yo, no way is real. Hold on, hold on. Where, where's my boat? Yo, we got a slay on here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go to high right. Wait, there, okay, there, this way, this way. Okay, so Amazon, where even is the Amazon dealer? I don't even know. Boys, if this actually works, I might hit max level very soon, okay? I'm, I'm level 2430 here, and bro, if this actually hits, I'm max level. This has to work, though. Dude, imagine this actually works. That would be insane. If we go over here, we got an NPC over here. That's not, a, that's not the one, okay? I'm pretty sure we gotta go inside. Okay, we're in Hydra Island, but where's the NPC? Okay, I see, I see some NPCs over here, but I don't see a, I don't see a quest giver. Hold on, where is the quest giver? I'm pretty sure. Wait, is that a quest giver? No, hold on, where's the quest giver? Okay, there's a quest giver over here because uh, there's like an exclamation mark over here, and then uh, Amazon. Oh, there, there, there it is. Okay, so there's a quest giver. Okay, we go over here, uh, and we click and try, and then we choose giant island over here. Okay, th there we go. This is what we have to choose. And then Prunny is glitched out, and oh it's 64. God. Wait, it's 64. Wait, it's fakes. No, bro, I'm too. Late. No way, I'm too late. What is this, bro? Always too late for these glitches, man. What, like, what is this? Giant? Okay, like, look at this. 64 million. It, it, it says six. Like, what is this? 600. It says 600 million, and it's 64 million. Like, look at this. It's it's glitched over here, and it's not glitched on me. Like, what? Even if I've confirmed the quest, 64 million. No, bro. This glitch is also busted. Like, it's not real. It's. It, I mean, I, it's already patched. Like, you can see on the video, it's real, but oh my god. Let's see what juicy secrets. Oh, what the? Why am I walking like this, bro? Whoa, well, what the? Heck? No way. What is this? I have never seen this before. What the heck? Yo. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so this video right here shows us a secret room in Marine Fortress. All right, so I'm pretty curious where he's going. Okay, so he's going all the way to the back of the island. Wait, what is this guy even doing? Okay, so he says there's a secret room somewhere here. I've Oh, what is that? Is that is that a door? And he flash steps. Oh, what is this? All right, so there's a secret room. And now he's breaking doors with his rubber ability. And okay. And at the end, there's a secret thing. Miss. I did actually not notice. Wait, where is this marine fortress? Hold on, let me transform real quick so we can get faster. Or you know what? A boat is always faster. Yo, what is happening? I'm on my boat right now. And what is my... Hey, yo, what is my leopard doing? Yo, what the... Hey, chill, chill, bro. What the... I don't think I'm supposed to walk on my boat like what 
Oh, what am I even doing? I guess it's faster or something. I'm, is it faster? Hold on. I don't care because we're on Marine Fortress. And here somewhere has to be a secret room. I'm, I'm pretty sure he went to the back right here, right? He went to the back right over here. And somewhere here should be a secret room. I don't see it. Wait, where is the secret room? Was it? Oh, I see it. No way. Wait, wait we can get in here. Okay, so I don't think I can break the door with abilities. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So I guess we'll have to just flash step in. And oh my god. Oh, what is this? Why is there a heart there? And... And this is like some sort of maze. Okay, so can I like break the door? Uh, I'm pretty sure he went right here, right? Yeah, he went right. And then let's see. He went right over here. And then he went... Wait, which way did he go? Uh, I'm guessing this way right here. And oh yeah, we got it. We found it. This secret envelope, which has been lying here for years. Let's go and talk to it. And it says for master. Who is the master? And what is this even for? Why is this a random envelope hidden in the marine fortress? Um. Ah, yes, I found it. And apparently, this is for completing the Sun Quest. And this is needed to make your Dark Blade Dark Blade V2. After everything is done, the player will have to go back to Robot Mega and upgrade their Dark Blade to V2 variant. Oh, so that's why all these love letters are scattered around the map. One in Skylands, one in Frozen Village, and one in Marine Fortress. Interesting, but how do I get out now? Hold on, how do I... Wait, how did I get in? Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no, bro. Yo, get me out of here, man. What the... Yo, can I get out, please? Please, please. Oh, yo, get me out. Yo, I just, oh, I just killed a boss. Wait, what? How did I, wait, how did I kill a boss here? Just get me out of here, man. Please. Bro, I'm stuck here forever. There's no way. Oh my God, I found it. Finally. And now we do a little bit of this and we're out. Yo, come on. What is up with Bloxroots today? What is going on with my leopard, man? Okay, I don't know what's going on with Bloxroots, but uh, this is not normal. This literally looks like I'm playing Bloxroots in Ohio. And that's not a good sign. Okay, so apparently, this guy has a secret in the first T. So, okay, he's at the prison right now and he's at the wall. Okay, so I'm guessing, what is he doing? Okay, he went up on the wall and now he's just walking on the wall. Am I getting trolled here? Don't tell me I'm getting trolled. Okay, he's walking... And there is an NPC right here. Remove blocks fruit. Hey, kid, do you want to remove your blocks fruit powers for only 50 tau? Wait, what? Wait, there's something like that in the first sea? No way. I gotta check this out. I have sailed the whole sea for this prison. Uh, literally, I've came across the whole map. All right, so apparently somewhere around here is a secret NPC, which can remove your blocks fruit. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he was walking on this wall right here, and he was just going over here. Oh, I think I see it. Yes, uh, remove blocks fruit. And we got this guy with this anonymous mask. Ooh, are you gonna hack me, buddy? Oh no, he will remove my blocks root for 50,000 only. No scam, I promise. Well, I do have a leopard right now, so... No, hell no. You really thought? Not today. Maybe if this video hits like 1,000 likes, maybe. So this next TikTok shows something secret and iron in the second C. So he goes up and then he sees a cube. This mysterious cube right in the air. Like, what even is that? Is it a Minecraft sky base or something? Yo, this literally looks like a obsidian Minecraft sky base. I'm not even gonna lie. There might be a chance that this island is still here. What even is that? What the? I like a black cube right here in middle in the air. And he actually goes inside. What? Wait, this looks like some sort of dimension or something. We need light through those. So let's go ahead and... and now we should be able to like fly somewhere up here. I'm pretty sure he went that way. Okay, so he had that, and then he just went straight up, I think. And apparently, there's a secret cube that we can encounter in the middle of the air. I'm not seeing anything so far, and I think I'm going to good direction. Yo, I can barely see this spawn island right here in C2. No way, bro. I, I don't see anything, though. Am I supposed to go up, or is this thing fake? Um, okay, I'm still flying, and it, it's been like a good minute. Like, I see, I think, the ship right here, but bro, there's nothing here. The night doesn't make it easy. Here, but I don't think I see anything. So yes, indeed, this TikTok was fake, so do not waste your time on this. Okay, for this next TikTok, we got someone that can awaken leopard fruit. And he's actually not joking. He has a leopard and he... Whoa, what What did he do? He's, he's below the map? What is he doing? Wait, how did he do that? Oh, what is that room? There's like a secret room behind them, like below the map? And he tries to glitch in and... Wait, no. Is that... Wait, that's the ascension room. This is where you awaken your fruits. And no, he's not gonna do it, right? He can awaken Waken his leopard fruit. Hold on, no way. And that kind of comes in handy because I have the leopard. I don't mind an awakened leopard. Give me that. Okay, okay, but first we have to go back. 
What the? What was that? Okay, this literally was Block Street in Ohio. So time to leave this place. Second C, we go. Teleport felt server is full. Uh, you're kidding, right? Take me to the second C, you useless. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so now apparently we can awaken my leopard fruit right here in the second C. And he did start at the cafe. So let's go to the cafe. Oh, and also let me get that fruit real quick. Come on, please, please, please. Come on. Barrier. Okay, so where did he go in the video? Okay, so he was at a cafe. And then he goes next to... Wait, he goes to the split in the ground and he just... What does he do? He he flash steps in? What? Wait, what in the world? Wait, there's a, there's a thing right here. Where is it? Right here? Oh, yeah, I see the water. Wait, what if I can just flash step... <gasps> Yo! Wait, it's real. What the heck? This guy knows everything. Okay, and apparently we need to go to that room right there. And I gotta avoid drowning, so... Yo, don't drown, don't drown. Okay, what did he do here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where can I... Okay, hold on. Can I glitch in from here? Wait, what did he do here? Right, he went right over here. He went below this thing, and he went like, don't die, please. Oh, okay, so he went right th like this, and then he... I guess he like flesh step in. I don't know how he did that, though. Okay, there you go. Come on, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Oh, yo, I see it. I can't glitch in. No! Oh, it's not letting me in. No, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm no, 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 no. Oh, bro, you gotta be choking. All right, here we go. One last try. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, so we gotta swim. We gotta swim. Come on, come on. Glitch in, glitch in. Okay, there you go. And now, how did he do that? Did he glitch? Like, did he zoom in or something? What did he do? I can barely see it. Yo, why, bro? Bro! Uh, I'm about to give up. But no, I didn't start making this video to give up. I'm gonna try one more time. This time, I'm actually gonna do it. Watch this. Okay, come on, come on. I have to do this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is easy. Come on, come on, come on. I have to do this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. What? What is happening? All right, come on. We need to go here and then swim. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, glitch. And now we just gotta look in the room. Like, why is it so hard, bro? Okay, I'm, I'm literally... I'm, what is this? I actually did it. Oh my god. Bro, it took me like five tries at least. And my leopard is again in this glitch thing, bro. Leopard in Ohio, I guess. Okay, now it's finally time. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's go. We can finally. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Take me back. Okay, Ascension. Come on, come on. Let's go. Right, Ascension. Yeah. Wait, what? You cannot talk to this NPC. Wait, huh? So I did all this for nothing? Wait, you're telling me I did all this for nothing? Wait, no way, bro. No way, bro. All right, blocks for gotcha. What do you got for me today, okay? Yeah, we're gonna spin once, okay? No glitch, no myth, no nothing. All right, let's go and press all right. Press random fruit and let's see what we will get, right? So we're just gonna buy it and we got a spring fruit. I mean, expected, I guess, right? And this happens every single hour with this guy. And I just can't figure out how I can increase my luck once again. All right, so this video right here says that there is actually a secret code to get the mythicals. I mean, all right, let's see what you got to offer, right? So he's standing in front of the Brock. Wait, what? Why does he have a gun? Okay, I guess, I guess he's just about to shoot him, I guess. Brother, I can't even see what you're typing in like the thing is that okay there you go slash hold the hostage he's taking the blocks to get your hostage like what okay and then he's rolling a fruit and no way he got a leopard from that there is no way that has to be fake there is actually no way now the problem is i just rolled out fruit so i can't really try this one on this account so i have to switch real quick okay i am on my friend's account right now and we're gonna see if this actually works okay so we have to go over here so first i need a gun okay i hope the cannon also works i guess it's the same kind of thing i don't have the other gun right now so i guess we'll just use the cannon for now we're gonna go over here we gotta go and type in slash hold hostage like this okay we're gonna go over and type that like that okay type it in and then just press all right okay roll of fruit come on it is has to work come on come on and we got a diamond fruit okay that's that's definitely not a leopard fruit that is that is most definitely not a leopard fruit and you know what let me drop it behind the wall so people have to struggle getting this look i can't even get it now <laughs> good luck whoever is getting that one but we definitely didn't get a leopard fruit yo what is this guy do why is this guy has a sword like a what the why is this sword so big oh my god i've never seen something like this what the heck and what even is that sword like how is this one called i, I don't even know what the heck okay so i found this next video right here 99 percent 
Man works, do not tell the devs free legendary mythical fruits. Okay, show me. I mean, I, I want to see it, okay? Just hit the dealer with every move you have, okay? So I guess he has soul fruit right now, but it doesn't really matter which fruit you have if you can hit it on every single move. I guess he proceeds to beat the gacha with every single move he has and then rolls a fruit. And he got shadow fruit. Okay, that's a mythical, I guess. Wow. Oh my god. Wait, okay. Let's go and try it, I guess. Uh, here I am on my long lost account with um 100 levels and ice fruit, I guess. Oh, why is my graphics turned down? Oh, I forgot I can walk on water with ice. Oh my god. Ice is such a good fruit. Oh, but I don't have enough energy, so I can dash and walk at the same time. Otherwise, I'll be in my grave already. Wait a minute. Do we even have enough for the fruit roll? Because it's definitely more than that, right? No, I hope you... Wait, was that an... Someone with awakened dough in first C? Wait, what are you guys doing, man? It's a bunch of trolls. Okay, let's see. Come on, please. Do I have enough? First, let's go check. You have turned the... Oh, no. We have 4,000 short. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. How much does the quest give? The quest gives 2,000 only? Oh, my God. I guess I'll be right back. No way. The boss isn't even here. I can't even fight the boss. No way. I have to fight these stupid monkeys. Oh, never mind. The boss found. Come here, boss. Okay, now I should definitely have enough. 41,800. So, now we're gonna roll fruit. Okay, so we need to hit it with everything. Every single ability. So, okay. I, um... Oh, wait a minute. There's one problem. I don't have the last one unlocked. No way. But for this, I had to go all the way back to Fountain City to master my ice fruit. And now, since this account is only level 100, I had to use this special method to actually farm these NPCs. Now, if I remember correctly, I need to fight them once, and then I need to just go behind this, and... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm almost dead. Okay, I forgot. I okay, come on. Okay, a few more, and... Let's see. Oh, how much? Okay. Okay, wait. I only got two. Oh no, this is gonna take longer than expected. And another two levels, I guess. Another three. After finally getting closer. Oh, let's go. Oh my, that took me so long. I finally unlocked it. Okay, so we all did it for this. Ooh, okay. I mean, pretty cool. Now I can finally test the mythical fruit method. Wait, is this a flower ship? Oh, yoink. I'm probably gonna get hunted down. Yeah, there he is already. All right, so he said hit the dealer with every move you have. All right, so we basically gotta go over here and and we pretty much gotta grab our ice fruit, do that, do this, do that, and do that. Okay, so I just hit every single move, and I'm pretty sure if I talk to him right now... Hey, come on, please, please... <gasps> Oh my god, what is this? This is a chop fruit, not a leopard fruit. Uh, let's drop it for this guy. I mean, oh my god. That is definitely not working. I was confused why nothing is working until my friend told me this. He told me that all the videos on TikTok are most likely fake and that I should check out YouTube shorts. So I went to do some research and I found this video right here. How to roll a mythical fruit every time in a blocks fruit. Let's go watch it. Let's see what this guy does a shark v4 so this has to be promising right okay so let's see so he goes to the blood blood gacha and then enable aura at the same time that you purchase a fruit so he enables his hockey and at the same time i guess and he got no way he got a leopard fruit from doing that oh he's freaking out look at that he freaking no way like there is actually no like he has to drop it now right like i mean at least oh he drops it wait what? How is this real? Wait, I, I, I don't understand. Bonus clip. Okay, so he, he gives us a bonus clip. Let's see. Does it? Does he do it again? I'm using the same trick. Okay, he's, he's using the same trick. No way. And he even dropped the fruit, which means that it actually was a fruit that he just got. So let's go over here and let's use this exact method, okay? Okay, so basically all we have to do is, I guess this hockey right, you enable it with J on keyboard mouse. So we can talk, we press all right, we press random fruit. Fruits, and whenever we press buy, we press J at the same time. So let's go and count down. Three, two, one, boom. All right. I just bought it and I just did it at the same time and I got a spin fruit. So if you're wondering, no, this is, is this doesn't work. Okay, you, you can't enable hockey and roll at the same time for a leopard fruit. Okay, no, it, that, that doesn't work like that. But this next method might actually work. As you can see, how to always spin a good fruit. Okay, we're gonna check it out. Okay, how to always do it. Okay, get a chest. Then to talk to the dealer. Okay, so we gotta talk to the dealer first and then jump three times. Okay, buddy, jump three times and then spin. 
Okay, and he gets a dragon. I mean, he doesn't even show that he got the dragon, though. Well, I'm here to test it, so let's see. Okay, chest. Okay, here's a chest, I guess, right? Let's get the chest. Okay, now we gotta talk to the block through dealer over here. All right, that's right here. Let's talk to him. There you go. Just scroll through. I think that should be enough, right? Yeah, that should be enough. Now we gotta go over here and jump three times. Okay, one two and three okay there you go that should be enough and now we just talk to the block uh, he said please fruit let's just say please fruit in the chat there you go random and uh, bye come on and bro, they are all lying bro they are all liars 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 man so far none of them work you know what i'm still gonna give out the leopard fruit or the dough fruit or you guys want to like subscribe it's actually if you go over here behind skylands you can actually go and see some rocks and behind this supposedly there should be an npc but oh my oh wait he is actually here the mad scientist we actually didn't know about this what the heck wait what does he do wait it's uh oh parts of electric oh i'm pretty sure that's uh, Oh, yeah, it's the fighting style thing. It's the fighting style. So you can actually learn the electric. Oh, wow. And look at that. We got an electric fighting style right over here. Oh, my God. So this myth is true. Myth number two is that there's apparently a secret code that gives free items right here. Well, I don't see any codes. I'm pretty sure it's in a building or something. It's right here. Oh, okay. Um, So it's right here. Okay, FUD. Wait, does it say FUD or... Okay, FUD 10. So apparently if we go over here and type in FUD 10 right here and then just try it out. Already redeemed? Bro, what? Wait, oh my god. What's going on with my items? It's all like blacked out. What, what the heck happened? I have some secret items. I guess the myth is true? Now for myth number three. There's supposedly a hidden money farm over here at the Skylands. If you go over to the third layer, you can actually see a temple right over here. And there is a secret entrance to actually enter the temple. So I'm pretty sure we didn't break this. Okay, so... Can I break? Okay, we broke it. Let's go. And apparently there's a lot of... Oh my... Wait, it's actually true. What the heck? What are these chests doing here? Wait, I'm gonna get rich. Wait, this myth confirmed. Oh my... Look at the money coming in. Oh my... From myth number four, you can apparently go to a home set NPC, talk to NPC, then don't press accept. Make sure you press on home first and then go to your original home. Now, what you gonna do your original home? As you guys can see, I can still accept it. So what if I accept it now? Can I actually set my spawn point at the Heaven Island? Okay, let's see. And I mean... Okay, well, it didn't work. Pirate slide. <laughs> no, bit busted. And for mid number five, you can actually go over here and you can actually go ahead and rock good fruit if you're subscribed. So if you're subscribed and like the video right now, you can actually rock fruit. fruit. Okay, let's go buy fruit and, um, well, okay, I, I guess I can't really subscribe to myself. Okay, so I'm in the second C and apparently for mid number six, if you go over to that grass island over here, like the plants island, there's actually a secret NPC that's all the way above there. Well, there's only one way to figure out, okay, I don't see any NPCs right now, okay, so I don't know if there's any above here. But apparently at the very, very top, there's actually a secret NPC, which I mean, I'm about to figure out, okay, let's go, let's go walk the last way okay i don't see anything though like bro oh wait what wait is that is that an npc wait a minute that's someone wait hold on what is that mysterious man wait who are you oh my god wait what is this hey go away um i guess <laughs> i guess this myth is true okay so for me number seven you can apparently go to the secret island of rip indra if you want to take a boat okay let's go and take a boat and force there you go we will need that one because we need to go a far way you usually need to get a quest for this but you can actually go there without having the quest okay apparently if you at a hot and cold island you have you just gotta go over like at this direction over here let's just keep going like this and then you should apparently keep going and now we can actually find rip indra's island a few minutes later wait wait a minute i think i see something right there yeah it's an island oh, wait wait is indra gonna be here oh my god oh my god we're here oh my god wait that's indra no way oh my god it actually works wait can we fight indra even uh let's see can we, can we just fight him oh can literally fight him what the heck indra okay let, let's fight indra guys oh my god it's been a while since you fight like this is literally the battle to to get to the third sea but you can actually go to fight him right now oh my god okay indra is strong okay oh no 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 hi indra hello oh my god are you fighting indra Right, right look at this what is dark blade look at him look at him wait, what happens if we beat indra oh my god wait wait oh stop indra what the your best of friend him get him get him get him oh my god oh my god my friend is gonna get him no 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 no, no. wait wait shh, shh. and oh my wait it, it ended no we, we can't even beat him what no he reset no but i guess the myth is true oh but wait a minute there's a fruit that spawned uh, it should be somewhere around here okay, i see it oh and it's a lot of fruit oh my god i don't even think i can store it can i um oh i can let's go okay so apparently if you go to hydra island you guys want to go over here the trick over here and you can actually go over and find a secret cave I'm pretty sure if this is real okay let's see if we go over down and you can pretty much go in the water farm pretty sure okay so we go over here and then we should be able to oh my god wait we're here wait what is this wall doing over here can, can we break this by any chance hold on oh oh my god wait we can oh my god and hey, wait is that? is that is that a secret sword or something hold on a minute so apparently this is used to get a secret sword called the yama or something and yeah there's actually also a, like a secret like entrance all the way above okay, so i'm pretty sure you have to like 
defeat all these ghosts first, but yeah, this myth is true. Oh, okay, I need to escape these. Oh my god. No, I got locked out. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, no. Bro. Okay, myth number 10 is that you can actually go in one of these houses, which is actually locked. Like, all these houses are locked, and you can literally not go inside of these. But I'm pretty sure if you go like, over here and, like, make sure you like, glitch in, like, you can see it right here, and then you can just flash step in, and oh. okay, it didn't work. Look at that. I can't even see inside of it. Like, everything is filled up. Like, look at this. It's all filled up with wood or something. I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, we can't even flash step inside. So, this myth is a busted. Okay, for myth number 10, if you apparently go up behind us and the windmill, there's actually a red hat that you can actually, actually get a touch, okay? We gotta touch it, and now we gotta go literally go back. Now, apparently, if we go back and then try to roll fruit, we actually get a higher chance in getting a mythical fruit or a legendary. So, let's go and try it out, and any fruit I get, okay, I might give out. So, let's see. Okay, a magma fruit. All right, that's pretty good as well. It's not a legendary or mythical, so I'm, I'm just eat it or something. Okay, let's just store it, I guess. Store fell? No way. Well, I guess we'll have to drop it right now, okay? Whoever comes first, uh, you, you can have it, okay? Okay, time for the next myth. Okay, minimum 10 says that you can actually only jump 10 times in air. So, I guess we'll try it right now. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? What? I, I jumped 12 times. What the heck? I guess myth busted. I, I just jumped 12 times an hour. What the heck? I didn't even know this was possible. What the? Oh my god. Mid 11 says that you can actually go over here and go downstairs right here. Apparently, there's actually something here that is a secret room, which is gonna be right here. Classified. Ooh, okay. I guess we'll see about that because we can just the flash step and let's go and we're here. And yeah, you guys just need like all these frogs or something. Apparently, it's like the creator of Shin Alive or something. And yeah, look at this. So here it says like King to Toad's house or something. And I guess it's like the Easter egg from like uh Shindo Life Creator or something. I I'm not really sure about that, but yeah, it's, it's like a cool Easter egg. I guess. I guess you can also use this in uh like hide and seek or something. This will be like a really good place. Hey, we got like a chessboard or something. I don't know. But myth is true. Now, apparently, 99% of the people don't actually know that you can actually go all, all the way over here and you can actually go over here. And there's like these cubes over here, but you can actually also get this chest. And this is actually not it because you can actually go over here and you can actually go over to this one, which is gonna be the Doflamingo guy. I guess I'll notice, and I'm pretty sure he should be over. Oh no, he's not here. Oh my god. Okay, I, I guess we'll have to spawn him in no way. Okay, okay. Let's go spawn him in right now. Okay, rip 50 Robux. Okay, uh, man. Blocks just always scamming for Robux, but it's all right. Hey, Dawn Swan, come on, come on. Okay, I guess it's not Dolphin, maybe it's, it's Dawn Swan, but you guys probably know that if you guys um enable like your observation, like uh, above here is also a boss. We're gonna beat him first. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, bro, bro, bro. Okay, this guy's this guy's annoying, bro. Like, why is this guy here? Okay, bro, I forgot how to play this game because I didn't play it for a long time, but I should be able to get this guy. Okay, he's low. Okay, he's bro, he's so scared. Like, okay, let's, let's just go and beat him up. Okay, let's oh, wait. Wait, whoa, 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 What is going on with his HP? Like, he was so low, and now he's, like, all regen, bro. What? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Yeah, best of friend. Get him. Get him, best of friend. Oh, there you go. My my, my little my minion's got to get him. Look at this. <laughs> no way. He's getting beat by a minion, bro. Look at this. He's getting beat by a minion. Oh, my God. A boss got beat by a minion. Oh, that's embarrassing, bro. But yeah, once you guys go out, you can actually go over here and you can actually go out like uh, above. And you guys want to go over to this direction over here and you guys want to see there's a big mountain over here. Now, once we go over here, I'm pretty sure, as you guys can see, we got uh, Jeremy over here. So we, we were fighting like right below this right here and here is actually where the second boss is. So they're like uh, right above each other. That's a pretty cool map because like they're right above each other, which is pretty nice. So mid through. Oh my God. He also, wait, wait, black spike. Oh my God. Wait, I, I got a drop. No way. Um, Minute number 13 is that you can actually jump and dash at the same time to be faster at the game. Now, this, for example, is normal dashing right here, and this is dashing with jump. Okay, so this, this was way faster already. But put on the screen uh, on the screen right now a comparison of both of these. And as you can see, yeah, you can jump, you can dash way faster. Look at this. Oh my god, it's, it's literally going faster. So you should definitely be dashing and jumping at the same time to get your maximum speed. Now, apparently, there's actually a wall that you can break over here. I'm not really sure which one it is, to be honest, but you can actually break a wall or something. Um, might be busted though. Because I, I didn't find it yet. Also, guys, with update 20 upcoming, I want to give out some perm fruit. So comment down below which perm fruit do you want. I haven't rolled a good fruit in a while. So what I did is look up mythical fruit glitches to see if they're real or fake. And hopefully I'll end up with a full inventory of leopard fruits. Make sure to watch till the end because this was crazy. So I haven't rolled a fruit in a while and this guy refuses to give me any good fruits. So I was thinking, how do I increase my odds of getting a better fruit? Well, luckily there's been going videos around in blog fruits that actually show how to get mythic fruits every single time you roll. Surely that's real, right? Well, there's only one way to test it. So we're gonna be testing it in today's video and we're gonna see if we're gonna end up with a stacked inventory or we're gonna end up with nothing. Ah, uh, yes. So look what I found over here. How to always roll legendary fruits. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Um, I mean, he's standing in C1. Activate your hockey 
five times. Bro, what does that even mean? Five times? How how is that supposed to give me like luck or something, bro? What like what is he doing? Okay, speak to Blockstruck Gacha after you like did it five times, I guess. And as you roll, activate your hockey once again. Uh, I mean, I guess. All right, so I'm guessing we'll have to go to C1 for that. So wait, hold on. I'm just gonna do exactly what he does in the video, so I don't miss any steps. Okay, okay, C1 we go. I mean, don't get me wrong, this obviously sounds fake, but you know we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, take me to the first C, you idiot. Okay, first C. Oh, okay, jungle we go. Okay, flamingo, get me there, bro. Okay, wait, where's my best old friend? Can I literally spawn it in? Wait. <laughs> No, wait, bro, what, what is this? Yo, bro, what is this paper roll doing behind me, bro? Like, what, bro, what, this is sus, bro. Like, what is, who is this? What, why is he my friend? Bro, what? Huh? Three, like, toilet paper, like, what, like, the skin is not even, like, like, what? Is he supposed to have, like, there's no face. Like, how is he faceless? I guess he's getting the monkey, so he's doing a good job. Okay, okay, we're going to the blocks we get over here. Oh, come on, who's... Bro, who's got- I think- I think my friend just- I think my friend just slapped him. And, uh, bro, 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 he's getting spawn killed by my best old friend though, bro. Like, this is insane. Why is he coming back though? <laughs> what the- Like, look at this guy. Look at- it. He's gonna get- <laughs> Bro, he's getting absolutely demolished. Yes, you better don't come back. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go and do it. Okay, so hockey, how do I- Okay, there you go. Um, how do I even activate it again? Okay, J, J, J. Okay, there you go. One, two, all right, all right, three- Four. Okay, five times, right? Okay, so five. There you go. Okay, now we have to roll and then activate it at the same time. Okay, so all right. Okay, when we click buy, we should click on J. So activate hockey once again. Okay, so three, two, one, and... Bro, 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 bro. What is this? This is not a leopard, a doe, or kilo. What, bro? What is... What is this? Bro, you can have it, man. You, you can have it. Can my friend pick it up at least? Okay, so this video was definitely fake, bro. Like, what is this? Hopefully, there's some better videos because, bro, if this doesn't work, I might have to give out a leopard fruit. And if you want to get that, literally like the video and subscribe right now. All right, so we got this next video over here. Devs told me a secret legendary rolling trick. Okay, let's go and watch it. I mean, <laughs> devs told me. Like, that already sounds like so unbelievable. But let's go and check it out. Okay, go to shop, open gift, fruit menu. What? Open- wait, what? He's opening the fruit menu? Okay, I guess, like, the Robux fruit menu. Store in inventory clicks, and then he clicks on gift, so the, like, ro like the buy menu pops up, and then he buys the fruit, like, he rolls the fruit, okay? And he's supposed to get- wait, what? Kilo fruit? What, what do you mean? Wait, he says the fruit you get is always the opposite of what you gift. Reverse for better fruits. Bro, what? So that means if I roll off kilo, I get a leopard, and if I roll a spin, I get dragon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to test this out. All right, so first, I don't know what we got to do, but I think we got to... Wait, hold on. Um, Yo, what? Jim? Yo, Jim, you got to try this one for real. This one supposedly gets you an actual fruit that you want. You basically got to roll like a low fruit and you get the opposite of what it is on the ranking. What are you doing? Well, bro, I just told you what I was doing. Bro, you always show fake myths? Bro, what do you mean? I always show real myths. Yes, it's real. Why do you not believe me? Well, at least I don't know if it's real, to be honest. But, you know, you can test it out. Try it out. Try it out. Okay, can I try it? Yes, you can try it. So, basically, just um, just go up to this guy. Open your shop menu, right? Open your shop menu. And then press on open over here. And then choose any, like, low fruit. Because you get pretty much the opposite of what the low fruit is. So, for a kilo fruit, you get a leopard. And for a spin fruit, you get a dragon. So, just choose whatever you want. Okay, okay, do it. Yeah, I just rolled a fruit, so I can't even do it, okay? Let's see, what is Jim gonna get? Bro, I swear, if he gets something good, I mean... Wait, what? Spring fruit? Bro, dummy, you're supposed to do the other thing. You idiot, bro. You're supposed to... Like, he chose... What did he choose? Wait, what did he choose? What did he choose? Hold on. I choose control? Yeah, bro, why? I literally just told you, you're supposed to, like, choose a low fruit because you get an opposite. Bro, you idiot. To yeet you out of this world? What the? You better start running before I yeet you out of this world, okay? Come on. Yeah, you better start running. You better start running. That's what I'm saying. Okay, free spring fruit for me. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so in this video, they actually show how to get duplication glitch. So I'm really excited to see this because it's actually a duplication glitch. Now, I, I don't know if this is true or fake. All right, let's go and watch it. I mean, this guy definitely is, like, weird. Like, what even is that? Okay, let's go and watch. Okay, he grabs a leopard fruit. There you go. I mean, I guess leopard fruit. He's gonna duplicate the. Okay. He's gonna type in the chat. Slash lock v4. He's gonna roll a fruit. And now. What is. Oh, no way. A leopard times two. Wait, it worked? What? Hold on, hold on. I need to try this out. Bro, bro, bro. What if I get two leopards right now? Hold on. What about. Wait, what do I wanna dupe? Do I wanna dupe leopard or do I wanna dupe doe? 
Um, okay, let's do Leopard. Let's do Leopard. Okay, let's unequip it. Oh, bro, imagine I just disconnect right now. I just randomly lag out. That would be so horrible. Okay, I, I just pulled it out. I think we need to type slash log v4 like this. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. And now we should be able to roll the fruit. There you go. Uh, all right. Random fruit. And come on, come on, come on. And we should get... Bro, 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 bro. What is this? This is not a leopard fruit. Like, what is this scam? You literally just scammed me, bro. Like, get this magma fruit out of my hands, okay? Not because it's hot, because it's 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 bad, okay? You don't get it. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What if I drop the magma fruit in the water? What would happen? Wait, magma on water? That should turn into obsidian, right? Oh, hold on. Three, two, one. Uh... Okay, I guess that didn't work. Okay, this video here shows the new mythical method. Okay, let's go and watch it right now. New myth. I, I want a new mythical method, so let's go and watch it. I'm pressing on play right now, bro. Why does it work? Okay, we're watching it right now. Okay, so he says in the chat, give me your best fruit now or else let the gacha know. Okay, we gotta let him know. Okay, we, we gotta let him know. We gotta spread the information. Okay, but is he actually gonna get a mythical... Leopard fruit? Infinite leopard glitch? Bro, what? Now, this is definitely fake, okay? Let's go and try it out. Okay, no, 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 don't, don't talk to him, okay? Give me mythical fruit now or else, bro. If this doesn't work, I don't even know, okay? Give me mythical fruit, okay? We gotta threaten him, okay? This has to work, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right? Random fruits by, come on, this has to work. Like, I'm, I'm done. I'm actually, like, bro, bro. Get out of here, man. There's no way. There's actually no this doesn't work, bro. Like, what is this noob doing here with the life? Is that don't tell me that's Jim, bro. Don't don't even don't even start with it, bro. Who is this kid, bro? Who is this kid? Hello, bro, bro, bro. Bro, Jim, what are you doing? So slow. Yeah, why are you so slow? What the yo, light fruit is so slow now. Wait, 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 wait. Is it bro? What? Light fruit is so bad. What? Wait, light fruit got nerfed? Wait, light fruit got nerfed? What the wait, what? Light fruit got nerfed. What the heck is this? Bro, flamingo is better. What is this? Alright boys, in today's video, I'll be testing the best Blox root glitches you can find on the internet. I'll be literally going over dozens of these videos to actually get the best glitch possible so you can actually get a rich in Blox fruits. As you can see right now, I have 34 million belly, but I need to get to 100 million before the update. So we need to get a lot of belly in today's video. I want to check if any Blox root glitches are working that gave us millions upon millions of belly. So let's go and check out the first video over here. Oh, is this the first tech took? And this guy says, hi, I will tell you how to get in infinite money glitch okay this guy has 90,000 so I don't know if I should believe him maybe he's on a new account trying this but well, let's go and check it out okay so he's he's on the first seat first go to sky island skyland wait wait skyland okay I guess there's a sky island right okay he goes over to, to the boat to the sky island okay he just makes a whole thing he didn't doesn't speed it up but there you go he's on a sky island right now so let's see what he does okay so he climbs all the way up let's, let's, let's see let's see okay go here okay you gotta go up here I think you go, you're going to this third thing yeah okay now you gotta go like below this cloud okay I know this I know this okay so you're just gonna go to go over here and that's a big three at the big three at the third layer i think or something like that yeah, yeah on the third three okay so he's gonna follow the three i think right okay and then wait where is he wait oh okay and i go to the whole thing okay i know this place wait i i know wait and then you go side and then wait wait there is a lot of, oh there's a bunch of chests over here yo collect the chests okay and, and then he just collecting the chests and oh my god wait what how much did you get for this wait i don't know let's go and try this and i just hop servers and there's the infinite money glitch okay bro i gotta try this how much money can we get doing this okay i'm really wondering because i'm in the second c right now i can go to the third c why do i go back to the first c and see how much money i can get also guys i almost forgot to say at 600,000 subscribers i'm doing a huge 200 dollar blocks through devil fruit giveaway so if you guys want that to happen like the video right now go down below like the video, subscribe, and make sure you guys comment your Roblox name down below. Let's go over here to the sea, pi uh, sea captain right over here. Yeah, he's waiting already. Let's go to the first sea and let's see if this actually works. Attempted to teleport to a place that is restricted. Say what? The first sea is restricted? Wait, can we go? Wait, what? Hold on, let's try again. Come on. Oh, what? Okay, apparently the first sea is a secret place. You can't go through. Okay, I mean, it's getting, it's getting, okay. Well, I guess, I guess we can't go there. Whoa, I hopped servers and I'm randomly in C1. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Because it was a restricted place to go to. Okay, so apparently we're gonna go to Skylands. So let's go over to Skylands and let's see if this actually works. Now, wait a minute. On the way, we can actually roll fruit. So let's go roll fruit right now. On the way, please, please, leopard. Please, leopard. Please, 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 please. I've never got a leper before, man. Like, what is this, man? Man, screw you, this block through here, man. First C is never lucky. Comment down below with the best fruit you got from the first C because I never got a good fruit here. If you have a fly fruit, you can go all the way up here without even, like, touching the skylines. Okay, let's go over here with the flamingo, with the
the love fruit. We're gonna go right over here to the temple, okay? Right over to the temple. And then we're gonna go over into the cloud, okay? There you go. And we're gonna follow the tree, okay? We're gonna follow the tree all the way up until like the last part. And the last part there's like a big temple. Okay, there, yeah, I see it. There it is. Alright, all we have to do is go all the way go up over here. Okay, this is not helping, but okay, let's go over here. And now we gotta break the door. Okay, we gotta break the door. Hopefully this works. And uh, okay, this doesn't work. Let's see, hot shot maybe, and a boom. It worked. Okay, so oh wait, that's actually true. Okay, so how many chests do we got here? Okay, so let's see, we got like um how many layers? Okay, one, two layers. Okay, so I think eight chests. One, yeah, yeah eight chests, like four chests a layer. Okay, that's a thousand. That's a thousand. Okay, thousand. Okay, we're starting with like 720k. Okay, let's see. A thousand. There you go. Let's drop down. Boom. Okay. All right, there you go. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So I guess like 8,000 per server. I'm not really sure if this is good, but let's go and try it for a few times. Let's see if this is actually really good. Okay, so to server up, you gotta click on the servers over here, and then you can just gotta pick up your server. Okay, so let's go and pick like a random server over here. There you go. Okay, then we gotta hop to server. There you go. Oh, but we spawned all the way back here. Wait, that's really bad. Oh, and we gotta go all the way to the temple back. Oh, no. So we're gonna spawn back in the temple or something. Like back like in front of the temple or something. Wait a minute. Wait, maybe we could go like talk to the adventurer over here. Like this one right here. Like uh, accept a quest. Maybe we, we're gonna spawn spawn back here. Okay, let's go and try that out. Okay, let's go and break the door again. A boom. There you go. And let's go, let's go and collect the chests. We have 730k. Okay, let's see how much we're gonna get. There you go. One, two, three, right over here. And hopefully we'll get a rich sewer. Okay, four. Okay, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go. A boom. 8,000 exactly. And now we're gonna hop servers again. And hopefully we're gonna spawn back really close to the temple. Okay, let's go and go over here and join another server uh, like this one. Okay, and then we're gonna spawn back over here and it didn't work. Okay, we're not all the way back here. So it's actually pretty bad because you gotta travel all the way there. So I'll give this method a 5 out of 10 because you can't really like you gotta walk all the way there Okay, let's move on with the second video at the end of the video I'll show you guys a secret glitch that will actually give you a bunch of money Just guys keep watching until the end. Okay, this method says easy 500,000 an hour with this method. Wait, really? Wait, 500,000? How much is that? Okay, wait, 500, like 500,000. Wait, how? He has 50k. I don't believe him. Okay, let's see. He's actually gonna show that he's gonna be, be 500k Like otherwise, I'm not gonna do this method because Okay, he's gonna do- Wait, is that a boss? Yeah, there's a boss. I think there's a boss over here. He's just fighting the boss with Buddha. Okay. And he's only level 170. So this is for every level. Like, hey, and just server hop while like going in and you'll get a 500,000 hour. I do believe this method, but I'm not gonna try it because this looks like a like low level method. So you guys can try it yourself. This guy right here says infinite money glitch in blocks. Okay, let's go and watch it. Let's go and watch it. Let's see. Let's go and watch it. Let's go and watch it. Okay, let's see. Uh, is he actually gonna- Okay, go to Pirate Village, follow the path, and get these chests. Remember the chests. Okay, let's see. You get average of 4,000 per server hop. If you're done and get this bad master you can get server hop and get unlimited money and i go 250,000 in five hours well that's not that much actually and that's why i found this video over here five million hour glitch check five million per hour glitch okay let's go over here in private server okay so you need a private server over this okay so he goes over here and what is he gonna do go to this castle okay so we're gonna go over over to the castle in the second sea above the cafe okay all right so he goes he goes over here and he goes over to the to the diamond chest over here and I just get wait, that's just got six thousand. Wait, what? Leave and rejoin again. Wait, where is he gonna join again? Okay, so is he gonna join like really close or wait? Okay, so he's gonna join the private server again. Go to the castle again. Let's see where he's gonna spawn. Okay, he's gonna spawn in cafe. Yeah, look, look, look. he's gonna go all the way up again and then collect the chest. Let's see if the chest is there. And oh, the chest is there. Wait, what? Okay, so we can just farm it all over. Okay, against six thousand. Okay, that's pretty good. Repeat for over five million an hour. Okay, we gotta try this. Okay, first we're gonna go to C two and I don't know. Remember? Okay, C two is all the way on Middle Island. Oh. I can't even see the islands anymore. Wait, where, where, where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, well, let's go all the way down. Come on, come on. Can I see anything? I can't see. I can't see. Okay, there's skylands and there's fountain island, I think. Okay, I got it. Okay, so we're finally at the middle island. Okay, let's see where's the captain. Okay, there it is. There is an experienced captain. Take me to C2. Okay, so C2 isn't restricted. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna spawn in. And no, why are we spawn in here? Okay, we gotta go all the way over there. And with this method, you gotta apparently get five million belly a minute or like an hour, right? So let's go over here. Let's go try this method. And this actually works. It's gonna be insane. We're going over here and we're gonna go over here to the diamond chest. I'm, wait, should we like okay? I guess I guess we should go over here and then we need to go all the way over here to the like the uh to the back room over here. And there it is, and the diamond chest is gone. Wait a minute. Where is wait? It's not here. Wait, did I remove it or did someone just claim that? Okay, maybe maybe someone just claimed. Okay, let's go re uh, maybe maybe server hop and let's see if this is still there. I feel like people are farming this. Wait, maybe this method is really good. Yeah, I'll have the server. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's gonna actually work. Okay, so let's go fly up here. Okay, there you go, there you go. Let's see if the chest is actually here. Okay, we gotta go all the way up here. Oh, the chest is there. Wait, what it is here? Okay, how much are we gonna get? And 6,400. Guys, did you guys know that there's more diamond chests like this in Blockster? Okay, let me show you guys other 
other two locations right now. One of the locations are right over there on the Coliseum. If you guys did not know about these locations, you gotta subscribe, okay? So here's gonna be one of them. I think it's gonna be hidden pretty good. Oh, there is this, I see it, I see it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's gonna be next location over here. So you can just, like, when you server hop, you can, like, I guess, like, get the one above and then get this one over here. 7,000, okay. And for the next one, it's actually gonna be on the tree right there. So you guys are over above the, oh, someone's fighting the boss. Wait, wait, someone's fighting about, okay, should we steal it? Should we steal the boss? Wait, should we steal? Okay, no, I'm gonna steal the boss. Maybe, wait, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So if we go over here, okay, there you go. There you guys go. You can stand on the tree and then you can get grab this chest as well. 7,000. So that's 7,000 plus 7,000 plus 7,000, which is 21,000. So you can actually get 21,000 per server hop, which isn't bad. If you think about it, every server hop one minute, like if you do one minute every single time, okay, think about it, 21,000 every single minute. So there's 60 minutes on one hour. So you can get how much per hour? You can get 1.2 million belly an hour. Wait, and if you're crazy enough to play five hours in a, in, in, a, in a row, you can get six million per five hours. Wait, that's actually not that bad. And this is without fighting bosses or anything because bosses actually give a lot. Okay, let's see. This guy fighting the boss. Maybe I should help, right? Okay, I think he's like losing against the boss. Wait. No, no, no. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Okay. Okay, I accidentally killed him. No. My god. Okay, this is really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Let me, let me, let me, let me get the boss to like low HP so I can actually like help him out a little bit. There you go. Let's get him to low and that should be enough. And there you go. Th that's the boss. Okay, that's the boss. Okay, we type go get boss because I, I feel bad. I, feel, I really killed him. Like, I don't know why, but I killed him and yeah, because my abilities were too strong. Okay. No, no, no. The boss. Uh, no. Wait, okay, the boss didn't die. The boss didn't die. Okay, let's see. He needs to come back. Oh, where is he? He needs to come back to, to get the boss. The boss has only one HP. Where is this guy? Oh, no. He gave up, I think. Well, guys, these are really instant glitches to get infinite money. And if you guys want more glitches, like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username, and click on the video on the screen. Click on the video screen right now, okay? Click, click on the video on the screen.